and everyone's just like in shock. And then someone just at the bottom was just like, I could have done without the bathtub scene. It was perfect. It made me want to see Godzilla. I was like, I want to see more Godzilla. I was like, I want, I want to see a lot more Godzilla. That- get it yeah, I like to be the one to know that I'm the one that's yeah. like paying. I'm the one that's Same. doing this. So and I have a lot of really pointless videos Comedy stuck in stuff. my head. I think everybody does, but I like to see, you know, I always like to see what everyone, what makes someone laugh, you know, because everybody's is different. I have very stupid humor. I feel what what kind of Same. humor is it though? What like what 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 do you mean by very stupid? I mean, I don't know. I feel like I just in general like a lot of dry humor and mm-hmm. then also like people would probably say like it's like a little over the top of the head like stupid. Okay. Like dumb and so, dumber humor. So, so do you, you like, like character the, humor? That's the best shit. Yeah. Dumb and dumber. Dumb and dumber is funny. But do you like character humor like um where people are just overacting? No. Okay. I don't like that either. What do you mean? Uh, like, there's this one chick. She's a YouTuber. She was a Vine star and then became a YouTuber. And then she's like a little. The necklace girl? The jewelry girl? No. The, like. She was like a comedy. Her name oh, was Liza. Okay. Liza Koshi or something like that. Uh, oh, no. That's uh, what I thought. She did comedy, but I don't like her comedy. I, I think she's, she, you know, she's whatever. I don't like her comedy, though. She's not funny. <laughs> she makes faces to be funny. Like she She's hot, but life, she's not funny. The whole like She's not hot because she looks exactly like my sister. She looks like Fernanda. <laughs> All right. She looks just like Fernanda. Oh, I know you're talking about. <laughs> does she not look like Fed? Now yeah. she does it, but back when she was like Vine, her and my sister, I was like, that's identical. I would show it to my son and Abby when yeah, they were little. Exactly and I'm like, who's that? They're like, that's the Fed. And she's like, oh my God, that's not me. I'm like, it looks, it looks just exactly like, me. like me. But um, I don't like her comedy. She does a whole like <clears throat> faces and everything's like the face expression yeah. and just being kind of like loud. And to me, I'm just like, that's not funny. You're kind of now like, I guess trying to be so i think i think that's when, every youtuber though. yeah like They're you just, think being loud is funny they think like volume <laughs> is where it's <Yes>. at <laughs> yeah super loud so, and screamy th- i always like to see what people's uh <clears throat> comedy preferences just because everybody likes a different style of comedy and no one's i'm not saying that any anybody's is wrong just maybe not funny but not wrong i mean i'm trying to think of like i don't like the <clears throat> a lot of probably like the youtube comedy oh yeah for sure like no. the stuff they do it's just like almost like putting people in pain just for a laugh oh yeah yeah like that like i'm that just either. like mm, please don't i don't like mm. cringy shit either yeah. like uncomfortable situations or people yeah. just being stupid yeah to like a random stranger yeah. mm-hmm. like it's like oh you, okay you know what a good okay this is one i hate and it's i guess you could say it's like a prank but i hate and and I hate the people that agree with this prank. Like, oh my gosh. Like when people, they'll buy something, but they're in Walmart and they'll put it under their coat. Like if they're stealing it, but they're like, I have the receipt. And I'm just like, you realize like people are going to do their job and be like, what do you have there? Yeah. And the more and more you try to, because they're fighting and like, oh no, what are you trying to look for? And I'm like, bro, it just looks like you're stealing. Whether you have the receipt or not, you're making it seem like you're stealing. Did we not have this conversation one of the last times about maybe the guy, nothing? the like YouTuber who went up to like yeah, they got yeah, shot and yeah, went yeah, up to yeah, the yeah. like we talk about that guy. Yeah. We talk about that like every episode. I was gonna say, I was gonna say but, <laughs> are well, we retarded? It's all, like, Let's keep it going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be three yeah. episodes. <laughs> Stay but tuned it's one next of those week. things because <laughs> straight up, like people are now like putting them selves at risk yeah for is, like a laugh for a view not even a laugh a view and then and like an but argument it gets them a shitload of views that's what i'm saying like it's not but like, it could also end their life <clears throat> for sure for sure so it's like what's the is the trade worth it no not at all well, and to then, them that's all they have oh, and they're influencing just, a younger yeah. generation and the thing that sucks is like people are like yeah but they're just kids i'm like yeah but They'll learn. But they're stupid. And four or five years, they'll be like, I was dumb. I shouldn't have done this, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. Videos are out, and the kids are going to fucking do it. Now, maybe yeah. not all of them, but like, there's going to be kids out there that are going to do it. That's and what uh, Jideon did. Jideon, I, 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 he's a good example. I'm not... He's a really great example. He's a... Go ahead, Gibby. He's an amazing example. Give a short Who's example that? of what Jideon is. Jideon was a very famous uh, prankster, YouTube prankster, uh, like over millions of subscribers, really like big in the social media like thingy but uh recent he, he's those cringe he's the cringe <laughs> well yeah okay well i'll say it. so he's oh, okay. the, he's like does cringe stuff like where he goes to people makes it awkward and then he gets on their nerves and then he just kind of he goes over the top where you're just that's like, when Stop. people are gonna get decked that's kind of how he does it like he goes to like just the extent where 
It's just too much. He'll prank mm-hmm. people. Like it's to the point where you're just like, bro, this is stupid, right? And um, recently, he, he's been doing it for like maybe three years. Like he'll yeah. go to like the to the Lakers game and he'll yell at like uh, LeBron or one of the players. And they'll purposely be saying shit, and the security will come here like, "What are you talking about? I didn't do nothing. You're doing this because I'm black, huh? You're doing this because I'm black." No. Yes, he's done those. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No. Now, hold on. Now, the thing about it is, he didn't really care because he's just like, "This is whatever," right? But the last maybe year, maybe less, maybe like eight months or something like that. I'm about to say about a couple months. He's been kind of like <laughs> changing and been like following God and stuff. So he deleted. All of his YouTube videos. Yeah, he is, uh, he has. He's like, it's a bad influence. He's really like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. He said, I'm an yeah. idiot. I shouldn't have done this. He goes, I'm putting a bad influence. I'm having people follow me, doing what I do, thinking it's okay to people. He goes, and he goes, the most fucked up thing is, he goes, I went to. Uh, he goes, I snuck into a stadium. Oh yeah, one of the one of the games. He goes, I tricked both security guards. No, it was a uh, Gatorade HQ. He said he was a market. <coughs> he said he was a marketing member, a new pro- new member of the marketing team. And uh, he convinced the guards and three guys, three guards that were working there for years got fired because of him. Yeah, he's like, they got fired. He goes, but I got the views. I got the laughs. He goes, and what ended up happening was three people got fired. He goes, they had families. He goes, they had bills to pay. He goes, that was me. He goes, I fucked that up. He goes, I can't be doing that to people. He goes, and I can't be showing people that that's okay. And he was just kind of going, I was just like, damn, like. Well, it's you know, like good on him for at least like owning his shit. Because yeah. a lot of YouTubers won't do that. Yeah. No. They'll just be like, oh, fuck it, whatever. Well, and, I mean, a um, lot of people we just know in general don't own their shit, too. Oh, for sure. So. Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah, he, he, uh, <laughs> he, deleted all of, he deleted all of his videos, and now he's uh, he made a, he made a new channel basically following God, preaching the the Lord, reading Bible Harassing verses. preachers. And, yeah, it's and, just uh, a different type of comedy. <laughs> different angle great guy yeah yeah great guy i love so, yeah. I, even before he was a great guy and <coughs> that there was some point where he was like he was just like yeah i have an influence and he was just like this is not something that he was like comparing what he did in videos to bible verses he was like this is what this is like this is the reason why i took down all these videos because it just shows me how, how much i was a sinner comparing him to like all these bible verses and he's it was a great guy and i like what he did yeah, it was pretty. Yeah. It, it was good. Great. Yeah, good for him for sure. Out. That sounds like a lot of stuff I'd love. <laughs> yeah, definitely lyricals lane. <laughs> um, so enough about the pranks and the jokes. We got our very one of our favorite favorite, not just our guests, very one of our favorite friends to be honest, Me? Robin. Uh, she came in and stepped into the two of Ti studio up I here love it. in the nerd cave. Uh, I was, I'm learning more and more each time. I was ranting on the toys about her, and she, I was like showing her. I was if like, I'm like, that's pretty cool, right? She's like, yeah. I thought he was talking about okay. cuts. Let's go, go yeah. Please. I said, look at this. I was so lyrical. I finished this. I almost finished the Snyder cut, and Rob is looking in the air like, where's the? Fuck I was are like, the where are these are at? cups at? Yeah, I'm like the. She's like, where? And I'm looking. She goes, oh my god. I was. I thought you I was said just cups. Like, yeah. No, it's I was cut. very lost. I was like, that's what started the whole drinking out of cups, you know? Oh, oh yeah. Too. I was, I was wondering, like, how did we even get there? I love <laughs> drinking out of cups. We, we never know how we start something. You and know, now we never. finally got to a point. I know. And then we also had our first experience um, going to the movies together. Uh, yeah. Robin's pick, too. Very, yes. very wonderful. Now, so you have to stop <laughs> We got to make that. sure no, it was, that we let them know. So, no, look. So, Robin picked it. And then I was like, I don't know, because I kind of knew a little bit about it. Not enough to not okay, want to see it. You have to, like, give better background yeah, of okay. this. And the fact that I had no idea what it was about. <laughs> so, Robin but picked But I movie. saw it was going viral on TikTok. And I was like, that would be a good one. To yeah. go see since we're about to do an episode together. Oh, I didn't even wow, see the anything violence. on TikTok I'm about Spongebob. it. Sorry. Yeah, and no, and I had, when she wrote me, when she wrote us on the TFTI page, it was probably like maybe an hour before I had just seen a little, it was like the most three disturbing scenes in this movie, right? And the beginning when I was like, ah, it's enough for me not to want to see it. And it was just talking about the bathtub. And I was like, ah, it's enough. I don't really, I was like, I don't. Wait, do we want to at least say what the movie was? <laughs> yeah, oh, it was, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was, uh... Trolls 3. Trolls 3. What was it? Fucking Salt... Salt Burn. burn. Salt, burn. salt Burn. Yeah, we saw Salt, salt Burn. Bay. Well, the whole thing was, I had salt only bay. seen, like, one little video, and it said just, like, it was getting people's reaction walking out of the theater, and everyone's just, like, in shock, and then someone just at the bottom was just like, I could have done without the bathtub scene. So walking Duh. out like, like during the movie? No, or like after? afterwards. Oh. And so I was just like, okay, well, there must be like yeah, just something. a bathtub scene. And then that was all I saw. And so I was like, hey, I was like, I keep seeing these videos pop up. You know, I was like, maybe that's what we should go see before this episode we do. And I was like, you know what? 
I, 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 in my head, I was like, I kind of don't want to see it because I, but I didn't really know what it was about. I just knew a little bit, but I was like, you know what? Let's see it. And I'm not going to tell anybody what we're seeing. I'm not going to tell them the trailer. And then Robin was like, perfect. I was like, they don't know it. So we're all pretty much going in blind. Like, you know, 0.1% and I know 0.1% and that's it. everybody else knows zero. And I told y'all about it. I said, don't look at the trailer. We'll just watch it. And uh, we all showed up that day. Just, you know, happy to see it. Happy to see a I didn't even excited. See very a picture. Yeah. I didn't know who was in it. I didn't I know mean, anything I was just excited it. because I went to Target and I got us all some candy. Yeah, and came we in smuggled clutch. it in. Came in clutch with the candy. I was yeah. like, candy. well, I didn't some know what everybody say. liked. So was, I just got, got a bunch everything. of everything. It was enough for me. To, like, I liked yeah. everything. It was, I was yeah. like, I, that's why I was just like, okay. I was like, there's five of us. I was like. We'll get at least two of everything so it can stay on like one side and one side. I love that. I appreciate that. <laughs> exactly. You came in clutch so, yeah. for sure on that. I mean, well, I appreciated, you know, the drink and getting the ticket. Of course, so, yeah, yeah. Um, it was a TFTI yeah, yes. event. So I was like, we got, yeah. you know what, we're doing this. So we, we just go. did the most. But here's the thing is, do we want to spoil any of the movie? I think Do we need to now, give like spoiler alert? Um, spoiler The more alert. we like talk about it. Because uh, I feel like, do we want to even? I think if give we just say away? like what scene, like if we say bathtub scene, but even if I heard somebody scenes. say that, I would not. Okay. N- All right, well, we'll just that. we'll say it in a very in a way where we're not spoiling it. And if we do feel like we're spoiling it, Gibby will bleep it while he's okay. editing. Yeah. So we'll go off trying not to spoil it. Here's my thing. I wouldn't want you guys to watch it. So the fact that if we spoiled it, I, I would feel like you guys it. were fine. I think you everybody do? should watch it. Like, oh, I don't know if you had that. told me about it, I would want to watch it. Yeah. You would? And I would be glad that I watched it because you're kind of, like, in on it. Yeah. Oh, that's so now yeah. you're like, oh, That's okay, why I watched it. I see. That, that's the only reason why I said I'm going, I'm, do, I'm, uh, I'm in for it because I was like, I'm in on the fact that they don't know about it. Yeah. So... My, not only am I going to be genuinely reacted, they, I'm going to genuinely see their reaction because they didn't. Nobody knew that it was going to be. I didn't know it was going to be like that either. But like the fact that I could turn around being like, oh, "Okay, I know about this scene," and I can look at lyrical and have a picture of him going like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like got all of us everybody like was the like most inappropriate, like covering their face. Like okay, their here's mouth. the thing. Okay, so you got a photo. Here's what we should do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Each of you give your quick synopsis of the movie. Okay. Like, if you are going to have to explain it to someone in a paragraph, like a preview, Mm -hmm. what would you each say? Too much singing. Yes. (laughs) All right, Lyrical, you go first. I don't fucking know. It's hard (laughs) to, because I've been telling people that we watched it, and then they're like, what is that about? And it's like, I honestly couldn't (laughs) fucking tell you. Yeah, it's... Like, I have no idea. It is hard to explain without just kind of going like, it's uh, it's just weird. Like, it's a... But okay, I'll try to explain. Look, Yeah, try and... I want to hear this from y'all's perspective. All right, so this is an indie film. It's directed by, what's his name? Emerald Fennel? Emerald Fennel. It has Barry uh, Cogan and Jacob... uh, Elordi. Elordi. The guy from Euphoria and then homie from uh, Banshee of Inertion. And uh, he was playing Joker on the Batman as well. Very good actor. Great actors in general. Yeah. So um it's about this these kids that go to university one kind of comes from like a poor family so he's there from scholarships while the other one jacob from euphoria is the um kind of like the the jock of this university you know the cool kid the cool guy everybody wants to be that guy's not actually now you're fucking into spoiler territory (laughs) the fuck like that's why i didn't say anything bleep that out gibby that was spoiler territory all right so then um Essentially, like he he lets them know, like, oh, my family is not really coming from wealth, whatever, and so they kind of hang out. They, you know, they they if they pretty much end up in a way of hanging out, and this and basically he goes to uh, Jacob invites him to go to uh, his parents' house while they're on vacation for the summer. For the summer. So he's like, you can stay with us because he's like, I don't want to go home because my dad's a drunk. My mom, uh, she does drugs, yada yada yada. So he's like, you know what? I want you to come over here. You, we have a house. We have an extra room. Blah blah blah. blah. I'm, I'm not gonna take no for an answer. So he's like, "All right, cool. I'm going." And now you're feeling good for this man. You're like, oh, "This is cool." Uh, and so basically, he just takes him in his home, shows him everything, and you know his family starts to love him. They all start to kind of get together. Uh, he's got a sister, mom, dad. His aunt is living there for now, and then a butler, like the main butler, Duncan. Duncan. Dang. I rich. thought they were gonna be like werewolves or vampires. I I thought Duncan was going to be something. something. Because especially yes. whenever the girl was like, Vampire's you're better than rich. last year's. 
Well, she and said then that. I was thinking yeah, like, I, oh, they're gonna like hunt him. Or I thought something. like dinner for yeah. schmucks type of thing. Whenever she said that, like, well, I was then like, also they, they were talking about, oh, well, there's a full moon. Like everyone's about to go crazy. Yeah, yeah. So that's why. So was yeah, like, I thought are like they the like vampires. So or? the whole thing is like Saltburn is the name of like the estate. The, yeah, 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 yeah. That they live at. And so I was thinking that like maybe the place is cursed, mm-hmm. and that like each night same thing is like something just like cra- like something possesses them. Well, something but, crazy. Happened I mean, there, crazy. Well, yeah, it definitely. It sure is nothing you expected. Possessed no. Oliver. Oh, so yeah, it was um yeah, and basically yeah, what you think? You're kind of going like, okay, this is all crazy. Everyone's kind of doing their thing. Oh, and their their friend, like the cousin. Remember the one from the Folly. university? Yeah. He was there. He doesn't like them either. They're kind of mm-hmm. like, kind of like they don't like each other. The Butler also doesn't like Homeboy either. He's like, I don't, I don't really like you. His name is there was uh, a lot Duncan, that, like, Ollie, I didn't and uh, really Felix. Get. Duncan yeah. was the Butler. Ollie was the kid that came. Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. yeah. And then Felix is Jacob Lord. <laughs> yeah, the cool kid. And so they're trying to, you know, he's he's trying to fit in or whatever like that. But then, like slowly and slowly, you kind of start to see he's a little bit like off. Off. Yeah. Like. You're like, wait, is he gay? Huh? Is he bi? What's going on? Like, does he have a thing for uh for Felix? Felix? You're like, what yeah. the fuck is going on? Like, and you don't know if it's like this sexual thing or just like obsession of like wanting to be him. Mm-hmm. Like being like, like wanting it. to wear skin. Yeah, yeah. Either one is weird. Either way of how he feels about it. And so But it's even weirder than both. A hundred percent. Yeah, if he were to wear his skin <laughs> in the movie, I would have been that was not as weird as what happened in the movie. One thousand percent. And so then uh I want to do keep. I'm gonna to try to keep it PG. Uh, I want to hear it all. Here's the thing: is like I don't think you can even try and keep it PG. But the thing is, let's count how many scenes utterly just shocked you. Uh, I think because uh, there was without saying three much, we'll just go right on off the bat that you can think of. Yeah, I can think of one, two, three. I can think of three off the. I can think of Same. four now. Four off the bat now. All right, one. I'm not gonna give away without saying anything. Okay. The first scene, and we'll agree if we can think of this one, uh, vampire. Yeah. Okay, vampire scene. No, that was... they ap- vampires? That was post-bathtub one. There's bathtub one. No, there's vampire and then bathtub. Why are you saying bathtub like something? But like- I think bathtub was one, and <laughs> like then some, it was vampire. It's some like, historical... Then event. it was bathtub two. Mm. I'm sure it was... No, I'm sure it was vampire because I remember... It's vampire one. Because I remember when I first saw the that... when I, After vampire was in the bathtub... And you could see everything kind of come up when he was like in the bat. I was like, oh, that's the bathtub scene? Huh? And then the bathtub scene happened. I was like, no, that's the bathtub scene. Huh. I feel like it was reversed. I don't know. I can't remember though now. Oh. Either way, though. Anyways. Oh, you should those watch were... it again and let yeah. us know if, <laughs> <laughs> which one Go came first. I never want to watch it again. Uh, all right. So, okay. Let's just agree. The, okay. If we're all thinking of the, these disturbing scenes, the vampire scene. Yes. yes. The first bathtub scene or just the yes. bathtub scene, right? Then the second bathtub scene, right? Yes. I don't know what the second bathtub scene is. With the sister. The sister. Oh, that yeah. wasn't like that was surprising. I mean, it was still. I not, saw that one coming. Okay, I mean, yeah, we saw it coming, but like, it's you don't want to see it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see well, it coming. You, you said it was. I did. I was surprising. Parts of it that I guessed, and like, kind of like that little quick like montage at the very beginning. Yeah. Like it was like yeah. Like now I'm waiting to see those scenes. Mm-hmm. So then whenever I see something similar to it, then it's like oh, okay, this is where that. Oh, happens. got you. So you're okay. still where that. So. If they didn't do that in the beginning, I think it would have been more of a shot. Yeah. But I didn't catch a lot of those, those clips then because I was eating popcorn or something. I didn't, or eat, <laughs> eating some nerds that Robin just brought. Had your delicious bucket. nerds. When she pulled those nerds out, I was like, I've never Fuck, had those. Those are really good. I was so I mad because I was like, nerds. I'm going to eat I'll get these. some more. They're so for next fucking time. good. Man. I want to make They're those a poster. So next yeah. time there's like a weird ass movie, we got to <laughs> yeah. go watch it. Oh, shit. So, yeah. Okay, wait. So that's three. Okay. okay. And the other one I was thinking. So there's technically three bathtub scenes. Huh? No, there's two bathtub scenes. Oh, three. Well, three. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the other so, one. Yeah. That one was a minor one, one though. The... That was a very minor after the vampire scene. Whenever so he was, was cleaning yeah. up. the bathtub the bad guy? The when slurp. he was cleaning up. And then there was the slurp. And then there was the, the, slurp? Uh, the sister. The sister. Well, he slurped. So then there's. And the, then the, the one, the other disturbing scene. The that, grave. Yes, that one. Yeah. That one was. Hey, like, that caught me off guard, though. I'm not gonna lie. That caught me straight that, off guard. It was too long of a scene. That made you sit on that. I was. And I think they did it on purpose. We talked about that afterwards. They did such a good job of like making you so fucking uncomfortable. Oh, for sure. I, through the entire thing, I was like, I felt bad 
like looking at the screen. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It was a. Uh, you know what it kind of made me think of? Like it's oh, almost fuck. like if you had like complete control over like a video game character, and you're like, hey. You should have them do this. Oh, you know what would be fucked up? Like, have them do this. Oh, and just and waiting. Almost, leaving like, like so people bad. just, like, trying to top each other. Yeah. And, like, oh, you know what would be real fucked up if he yeah. does this? Oh, yeah, it, no. it's... So, yeah, so I'm, try, I'm trying not huh? to spoil it. So if, it's, if I sound kind of dumb right now, it's just because I'm not trying to spoil it. And it's because the movie does get more disturbing... Not in that way, but yes, I but the I think the, the no. last, like, 30 minutes is the most disturbing. I feel like yeah, everything maybe the happens, last, like I would say the like end. the last 45 minutes because yeah. the movie was two hours long. So I was like, okay, very so surprised. maybe it was longer. So yeah, I would I say like, like the last 45 minutes. But like for the, sure. last the last end for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I kept turning around and just seeing Lyrical's like face in. This are the, the, these are the thoughts that came to my head. I was like, he's disgusted, one. And second, he's like, what the fuck did Asus bring me to? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, did they fucking pick this movie? Like, because I, I, but honestly, I, again, I didn't expect we had a lot. No idea. No. And, um, but even with all of that being said, I have to say, like, I, I can't disagree with saying it was a good movie. It was a good movie. And I, and I think the whole, like, everything behind it, I like the characters. I like the everything. parents. Like, everybody was weird in their own way, mm-hmm. but entertaining in their own 100%. way. A hundred percent. What is this movie oh, about? I- <laughs> I do not get. We're this. trying Y'all to are so vague. So basically, I don't know what anything. The guy stares at the camera. <laughs> I don't get what anything. He's turkey. Y- y'all are. <laughs> this you have, look. You have to watch it, this like to exactly. understand don't it. Tell no, your child no, 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 you know, not, not no, you, no, no, you, no, no, not you. No, I'm saying it's like you're not watching. I'll, I'll remember you're not watching. I'll remember that. You're not watching. No, you're not watching it at all. I remember. I remember. What I'm saying is like to the audience. Go with your mom to watch that. No, no, never watch that. Uh, as the audience, I think you have I to watch like it kebab. to understand it. Take and Uncle Jesse. <laughs> oh, you know what's so scary scene in that movie? The kebab scene. Yeah, that one yes. is scary. The Here's kebab. the thing. Is, this is what I would say is I feel like it's I do not like kebab. the most similar to you, mm-hmm. which you said you haven't, haven't seen. seen. Did you watch you no. with Joe? So <sighs> anyone that has watched, I believe it's on Netflix, yeah. like you, it's yes. basically about obsession. Mm-hmm. And so I would say the biggest like theme throughout the entire thing is like obsession and wanting more than what you have. Is that a decent way? Yeah, to Yeah, you know what? That is a very good way because like uh, every I'm trying every action that he did take was based on obsession and wanting more. Yes, wanting more. And but more. the thing is, I think even towards the end, I feel like it's it gets to a point where it's just never enough. Oh, for sure, mm-hmm. for and sure. And so it's one of those things where it's just like. If there could be like a salt burn too, because it would I never could totally stop. see him just keeping going. Yeah. And it, there's yeah. still some people that are in like mm-hmm. storylines that are still open. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, I wonder what happened to this Le- person. Where's it, Duncan? It, yeah. I want to know. I thought Duncan was going to put a stop to things. Mm-hmm. I did at first, but then I was like, this is an indie movie. There's no, uh, the first thing that came to my mind, I was like, there's no happy or good ending or ending you want. Yeah. That that's the first thing that came to my mind. So I was like, "There's no hero. No one saves the day." When indie movies, when an indie filmmaker makes a movie, the purpose, a good one, the purpose of them making it is for you to feel, and they don't want you to. They don't want you to feel uh, comfort in the sense of I know what's going to happen. Yeah, a really good indie filmmaker wants you to feel like I don't know what's going to happen, or I can't believe I'm feeling this way. And I think Saltburn and director uh, Emerald did a amazing job at that. Whether you were disturbed. And they make, you forget. they make you forget those weird scenes. Like For the sure. bad that, scene yeah. happen, and then like 20 minutes later, you forget all about it because yeah. the movie's so good. Everything. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, hey, well, they're getting comfortable. Let's fuck with them again. Well, that's yeah. the thing is like I at multiple <laughs> For points sure. started feeling bad for Oliver. And then yeah. like also this sounds really, really messed up. But like he progressively, like at the beginning, you're like, look at this little nerd, like whatever. But like when you see him change and like he starts getting confident, he actually becomes like more attractive. Yeah. Towards the end. And he was a whole different man. And so he's like a totally different person. And you're like, yes, if you didn't know all that other stuff and you came in at this point, you'd be like, Oh, like, I wonder if that was the real him though. And he was just putting up that front. Yeah. Yeah, Because, okay, well maybe kind of like primal fear when with uh, Edward Norton, I've never seen it. Uh, never seen it either. That's another. I've seen the Hulk with Edward Norton. Incredible Hulk. <laughs> no. <laughs> and not that one? Terrible. Not that one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the scene where he goes back home. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. It does make me feel 
like maybe he was playing it up the whole time now. Oh, Oh, one thousand percent. Like what I'm saying, like even where he looked like a nerd. Like, I knew what was gonna happen, but I thought I didn't. I thought the different. I was so clueless I too, still because I, I even whispered like, it to Christina of who was gonna answer yes. the door, but I was wrong about who answered the door. But I mm-hmm. knew that that person was there. I thought that he genuinely was. I still thought he was genuinely like I don't want to see my mom because she's gonna beat me type of shit. Like I, ge- I was still like, damn, he really. And then until once he got into the neighborhood, I was like, son of a bitch, son My thing of is, a like, I bitch. I just wanted to know why though. Like why, though? the why is what bothered me the most. It's like and they obsession. Don't give you any of no, that. and they There's give you a, nothing. Psychopaths don't have to have a why. Like it's just the obsession. No, and I totally just, get. But like, I just needed more yeah. of that part. But yeah, no, it was definitely a the backstory. It was a movie. Buck-a-bob. Yeah, it was, it was uh, a movie. Look. I wish you could like <laughs> ask questions and like find out because I want to know like yes. at what point did he start planning like the full extent? So of- yeah. okay, all right. So when there's another movie, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna send you guys trailers for like indie movies because what ends up happening is when they're in festivals like Indiana in Dallas. Jones, I've seen those. Uh, not the fifth one, the best one, it- next to the fourth. Really? No. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I got you right there. Um, when indie film, uh, filmmakers, they'll make movies, uh, most of the time, when they have them in film festivals, like the Dallas Film Festival mm-hmm. and stuff like that, the filmmakers come down here like and six. they'll have Q&A. So no, like I something would like Saltburn so... would have been in, in a run like that as well. So we could have caught the director. I did that with uh, the one with Aubrey Plaza. It was called uh, Little, Little, what's it called? Little Something. Little yeah, little hilarious. something, but I was so excited to see. It was like my movie of the year to go see, <laughs> and uh, I got to see the director ask, ask the director questions. Uh-huh. Like we were there, it was fucking awesome. Like, and he was like, "All right, I, I, I'm gonna." It wasn't that many people. It was, it was a full crowd, but it wasn't that many people still. You if know, if I had been in the crowd of people who had just watched Saltburn oh, for the man. first time, and then we got to ask the director, yes. things, I would have just been like, Dude, what, "What? What are the, the questions? Fuck? Yeah. yeah, what, what would you have asked them? You I would have said, "What the fuck? What was your thought plan process without yeah, this?" I would Little have been hours. like, "Who gave you these ideas? Like, what's like, what's going on in your head?" To yeah, be it, like this is what he would do. So, yeah. So I will say this: most of the time, when it's a vi- when it's an original screenplay, it usually stems from what you're obsessed with at the moment or what you've gone That's through. Disturbing. Right? Uh, but it also could stem from a book or something, a story from somebody else that he heard. Or maybe but because every single one of those things you're saying, think about it. That's no, for disturbing. sure. Disturbing. Well, mm-hmm. what I'm saying is like Midsummer. Okay, you know the Midsummer. Have you seen Midsummer no. movie? Okay, that movie is about an actual festival called Midsummer, right? Okay. And what ends up happening is uh, it's in Sweden and it's like day whatever. But like the eldest person there at the festival jumps off a cliff. Like it really happens, and they like fucking break their legs and they take care of them till they die right yeah that really happens right so the director went saw like a lot of the stuff and was kind of like this is wild right but was also like what if this was like a horror like what if i turn this into like a horror theme and like instead of this this happens and then this and so essentially he took that and combined it made it into a horror movie right which is midsummer which is a fucking horror movie i and that's i don't know what the director was going through but that could have <laughs> happened like where I, somebody was, was like I had a friend who was obsessed with me and I took him home and I didn't know how weird he was. And maybe not to the extent of anything, but maybe the director was like, shit, what if this? What if that? What if? I think a lot of shit is just pieces of stories that you've heard or like. For sure. I remember there was this teacher that we had in high school that had this habit. And Mm -hmm. we always thought like, what if this was going on? Then they just kind of. Fluorescent or fluorescent. I mean, I feel like I've experienced some really weird shit, even just like in dating. But like, I don't know if this movie just like blew my mind. Probably nothing like nothing like that. I was just like nothing uh, like Ollie. Nothing like Ollie, dude. Ollie was out of control. No, none of your none of the dates did anything. That's what you call living your best life. I mean, I definitely have had some really weird ones, but no, I hope not. What would you do if you walked in the restroom and some dude was like doing that in the bathtub? After I would you get got a out? gun mm. <laughs> and I would call the police. I thought he was going to turn around and come back in and then like catch oh. him. So that's what I was like. Oh, he's going to fucking see him. Oh, when in, in the tub? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. I even forgot about the other scene. The bed scene with fucking. 
uh, the the homeboy, the cousin. <gasps> oh, that yes. I, I kept turning around. I was like, ah, oh, like I forgot about that too. Yeah, whenever he got with on the Folly. bed with him with Folly, he was on top of Folly. Who the hell's Folly? The fucking cousin with the the black dude with the yeah. the British dude with the curly hairs or Australian. I don't know what he was. That he was wanted Australian. him to leave. Oh, he yeah. was the cousin. That I don't I even was, think I realized whose bed he was in at that point. It was at night. It was just the. I'm telling you, the lighting, the cinematography, everything about that movie yeah. was fantastic. Here's the thing is like, and I don't the, know shit about like cinematography, but like the way it was filmed, I agree, was like absolutely amazing. Like the music was great. The coloring, everything. I it was just disturbed, but I could have done yeah. without some of the storyline. For sure. But, but other than that, purpose, yeah, and, and like it did, it did its job. One thousand percent did its job. So even with all that, what would you rate the movie? You wouldn't. You would not recommend anyone to watch it. I don't think edit with a good conscience. I could be like, yeah, you should definitely go watch this movie. You think you'd warn? But them? I think if someone is just like, I would like to go see a fucked up movie. I'd be like, I know just what <laughs> got you. You need. Not only is it fucked up, it's a good movie. <laughs> I'd give it like a seven nine. Okay. Okay. I think. Not bad. I guess, yeah. Seven, okay. Nine. What about you? I say like seven nine. That's a good score. I say probably about a seven. Seven one. Seven nine point three. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. I'm slightly better than Robin's the way I like it, you know. So okay, not bad. I'm a. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with an eight. I think the movie really like. I, I again I don't think I could recommend it that's the thing is like, like that's why like, I'm struggling you need to watch this but like I would recommend it to people who are into films yeah you know like people are like bro I just look I'm like bro you should so, it's, I would tell them like, and it's if somebody's up, curious but, about it I would say just watch it yeah yeah just watch it like it's not like something to where I'd be like oh you know like the best movie right, that I'll I've watch seen it. watch this like, here's the thing no. I would never tell a total stranger to watch it no mm-hmm. But as far oh as God, if it was someone fucking... that I know, if I if I knew like who it was and like what they're into, I'd yeah. be like, you could handle this, you could not. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I just I don't I'm still like a mind blown by the entire movie. Yeah, no, the I don't like a bub. It definitely kept me thinking for the rest of the night for sure. I was just that bats have seen this. Just, Gabby ugh. said she had nightmares. She was just the next day. She's like, I need to watch something else. The next day we went to go see. 1,000%. We said we went to go see Godzilla because we were just like we need to cleanse our fucking. Well, how was Godzilla skin. though? We saw Godzilla minus one, and that one was crazy, crazy. It so people were like hyping it up. Godzilla. And usually when people minus hype a movie one. up, I already go in with like it's like super hyped right now. <laughs> yeah, and I go in with like. It's going to be Aston. Like, you better exceed expectations if you're going to hype it up like that, right? And I'm not saying it exceeds like this, like, w- w- whatever, right? But I went in with, like, all right, better be good. I'm hearing all these good things. It better be good. It is probably going to be movie of the year for me. Um, creator is right next to it, but this one's probably going to be movie of the year, to be honest. Like, this movie is the best Godzilla movie I've ever seen. I, I, I've i seen a lot, but I, I don't remember a lot of the older ones, but I used to see them all the time. I was going to say, how many Godzilla movies are there? There's a shitload there of them. Shit. There shit are? Okay. Like 35. But if we even just go off the recent ones There's kind ones of a from, Godzilla uh, wave right now. Yeah. Because they got that Monarch series yeah. on uh, Apple. Apple. Yeah, we've been watching that. And then now there's this one, which I hadn't even heard of until I started seeing people review it on mm-hmm. TikTok. Yeah, and that's where I saw that it. other one. Yeah, I, I saw it and I was kind of like, I, I'm not I'm not a biggest Godzilla fan. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of like, I don't know if I really I care Godzilla. to go see it. I know I love he's, he's big into monster I love movies, Godzilla. So I What's like, the minus one have to do with it's it? It's just, uh, it's the, kind of like the radiation, I think. Like, because it, it takes place right after World War II. Oh. So, okay. like, the movie takes place, It's it feels like it's a sequel to Oppenheimer. Like, it takes oh, right really? place right after the drop the bomb. And so then it's it's dealing you're, you're dealing with the aftermath of World War II like what's going on the the bomb that just dropped you're dealing with the aftermath and you're there's a soldier who comes home and he's like fuck like where's my family and this fucking house is just done and he's like Holy, and he just got back from he he's a kamikaze pilot and uh, the island he was on and he survived I know it's well, mistake so Wait, the what? island he was on he <laughs> he uh he didn't go through and he landed on an island because he was um. He said the thing was faulty. And the mechanics there was like, hey, man, like, there was nothing faulty about it. It was late he at night. He didn't want to die. He didn't want to die. He was kind of mm-hmm. regretting it, right? 
So then all of a sudden, like they start hearing something and they're, they're all like, oh, what the fuck is going on? And they're like, shine the light. And you see like a God, Godzilla. Like it's a small Godzilla. Maybe like, he was like baby Godzilla. Yeah. He was like, like 12 maybe feet. Like, Lordzilla. He was like, like 12 feet. No, he was taller than that. He was definitely. No, nah, like, if he sacked two, six foot people once. We he's like it. the first time you saw King Kong, like pretty, pretty tall, but like. No, he's not that big. Bro, he he was, was big. Even, ba- even baby Kong was pretty big. I he mean, was he was big. big. No, he was big. He bro, was because like, he fucking was able to bite the <laughs> damn. He was big. He was huge. No, like, he wasn't that big yet, right? So he was big. Whatever. And so then, um, I don't know what to pick. Everybody on the fucking like island just kind of. He's like two seven foot guys stacked on top whatever. of each other. No, no, he's, no, he's not that big. Stop. He's Look like it a, up he, if you want. He's no, a T Rex size. He's not big. Up. He's T Rex size. You know that's true. T-rex T-rex is T-rex 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 stop arguing with me and look it up if you really want to go through it. <laughs> he's look T-rex it up and stop. Uh, because you arguing with me is not going to solve anything. You can look it up and, and prove me wrong, but you I'm tell me in my curious. face that I'm going to keep saying he's bigger than that. So just look him up. So anyways, 14 uh, basically exactly. he, he he doesn't go through and then Godzilla shows up. That's the first time he sees Godzilla and people are like, the people on the island call him Godzilla, yada, yada, yada. But they don't really focus on Godzilla. After that, they focus on the aftermath of World War II. And this is like the first time like I've genuinely felt for characters. Like I was really? like, I cared more about watching the characters than Godzilla. Like I was like, I want to see more of them. Every fucking character, the Ooh. fucking everybody on there. I was like, I want to see more. I want to see like when Godzilla came out, that was a bonus. The characters were where I was like, I want to be with the characters. I felt so much with the character. I mean, I genuinely was just like, this so is you had a great. moment like I do with the bear. Where I like the character development so much. And I just need more of it. Yes, yes, pretty much. Yeah. Yes, yes. There was so much good character development. So much. Yes, the, every, every single thing about every character on there, you felt for everyone. And, you know, like I watched the, you know, I watched the Godzilla with Brian Cranston and uh, what's his name? Taylor Johnson. And I thought it was good. And when Brian Cranston, you know, died on that movie, I was he died immediately. But I was like, ah, that was okay. Whatever. I don't like, even know that movie. <laughs> It was the older. It was the, one of the first Godzilla. I, like, I don't know. I was like, I do love Brian Matthew Cranston. Broderick. But like, they didn't make. Really they didn't make you feel like you were just kind of damn. That sucks that we lost it. You know, whatever. But yeah. you were like, where's Godzilla? Where's oh, Godzilla? I think I do know. It was the first one, like 2014, I think. Hmm. But this movie, <laughs> you were hmm. feeling every character. You okay. were there with the characters. Godzilla was a menace. He was a villain. Like he was Godzilla, and I like that. Like. At the like when you really get to see Godzilla, it felt like the Japan one where he's walking slow, like, and then like at times he moves fast, but like you were like, this is the Japan Godzilla, and then the music he wasn't like running. Nah, <laughs> no, nah, no, it wasn't. It was the slow, and then you Doing got the, the Mission Impossible. Yeah, no, yeah, like yeah, for real, like the new trailer. <laughs> yeah, exactly at the end. Fuck. <laughs> uh, no, they um they had the music to the Godzilla that dun, 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 like it was fucking so cool like the Godzilla theme you remember the Godzilla I'm not familiar with the Godzilla theme what the I know his walkout music Real pretty much yourself? his walkout music it's yeah right there holy shit I can never hear it. <laughs> <laughs> where the fuck is my phone yeah he's exactly the same he's like 10 inches taller than 40 uh, foot long 40 feet tall then right he's 40 and you said he was as big as 2 7 feet I just said I mean, and, and then I corrected myself and I said he was T-Rex 40 T-Rex. feet. Okay, so I'm T-Rex. right. Thank you. Anyways, what are you talking about? I was right. I literally said he lo- he's the same size as T-Rex, and then and then lo- they're literally the exact same size. What were we just trying to think of? The Godzilla theme. Oh, yeah. The Godzilla theme was one of my favorites in that I movie. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. You, you, you'll you hear it. It's, it's iconic. It's been a lot of rappers. It's, I, it's like, iconic. Bro, a lot of rappers played it. Here goes. Same size. You'll be like, oh, I know exactly this. Fuck That's this so far. Yeah. Best uh, sounds right. Now I recognize this. Is this right? Watch. No, not that one. No, not that one. That's Sorry. Pac- That's no, it's not Pacific Room. Is that Pacific Room? No. It's worth the. Uh, here goes right here. Right. Is it here? No. We no, we no. can. Yeah, no, no. We'll stop it if anything. You guys, you'll know it too, probably. Watch. Is it this one? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They played that when Godzilla comes out. You're like, holy shit! That was nine. That was not even. That was like eight seconds YouTube. So please, don't fucking. I'll cover it. Every damn episode being copyrighted. I'll cover it. I'll cover it. I'll cover it. 
Just do it. Just you do the voice. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did that to the last song. If you watched the episode, he was singing the song that we were playing. In I the was back. singing Danny Kane. He, yeah, he made the beat. Danny Kane. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to fuck with P. Diddy. Yeah, no, he did everything right to now. it. No, no, no. It's no, like no, no, no beats, no. everything. But minus one is the best. 10 out of 10. I could. I was so mad when I watched that movie because I was like, I can't find a fucking flaw. Like, I was trying to pick. I'm like, what was wrong with the movie? And I was like, Ah, 10 out of 10. I was like, I can't, I can't find anything to walk out of that. And that's me personally to say that it's not a 10. Like it was perfect. It was perfect. It made me want to see Godzilla. I was like, I want to see more Godzilla shit. I was like, I want to, I want to see a lot more Godzilla Is that stuff. why you want to see the Godzilla Kong? Well, they dropped the trailer that day right after. And then I was like, this looks okay. Like, but the thing is like, once you saw the trailer, you were kind of like, looks fucking awful. The trailer, like, like it, the, ve- here's the thing. And I have, Monkey. No, like, room to really speak on this, but like, the end of the trailer is like offensive. It was, you know, what it reminded it me of Godzilla that, running uh, like that. I was like, I don't know if it was the uh, George Clooney Batman. Oh my god, one of those whenever was, they're like running, Batman you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Like, his ears like wiggling it's at the end. That's what it, it reminded me of. That yeah. running well, scene was like just running Godzilla's arms would not move like that. No, no, they made yeah, it look like a like a lizard. You know what I don't like. Someone made a good point. They were like, "That I don't like that they're taking the direction where Godzilla is just a cameo now. You're like, it's none of the move, none of the new movies focus on him. Yeah, and like so he's a side character. Yeah, and, and the movies feel it side because movies. all the movies they're like focusing on the characters Plus that you one. don't care about, that you don't really know about, that you don't want to see. And they more. focus on Godzilla. They focus on the humans in Kong. They never focus okay, on Godzilla. Yeah. What is Godzilla? Is he's, is a reptile? Yeah, he's like a radioactive but reptile. Like, but Iguana, what reptile? Right? Yeah. Iguana. It kind of he was like mutated from the bomb. He was the radiation yeah, he, he from was the World War II. Like, That's well, a, but really, what was it that was there before yeah. it became? It was an iguana, right? I'm pretty sure it was an iguana. Why That's my guess. I'm not too. Does big he on walk Godzilla. upright then? Because because lizards walk up right. Honestly, when they run, yeah. Now that you guys say iguana, on the I beginning mean, of the minus, he's one, not an iguana. He lo- he had the statue a stature of like a iguana like that, so like a lizard. So my guess is some type of lizard family in the lizard family. He's a reptile, that's for sure. I mean, I feel like they mostly <laughs> run on all fours though. I feel like you, if I'm saying it, he's like, yeah, <laughs> but I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, like, gonna, oh, I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big Godzilla, all of a sudden, I'm a big Godzilla just, fan. He awesome. just develops like monster quads, and he's like, I got this, guys, because he just got yeah. nuked. And then his like arms, he's just like, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't make that much sense because you know it's uh, fiction. But see, like, that's my problem but, is I need it to make sense. But minus one. Gives you like a really good sense of it. Now the new ones, like I, I said, feel the like the other one's gonna fuck it all like, up. Like, no, yeah, I feel like the Godzilla Kong, is it Godzilla versus Kong? No, it's Godzilla God- and X-Kong, Kong or X Kong, a new, a new empire. It looks X-Kong. whatever. Like here's the thing: if I didn't see minus one, I probably would have been like, "This looks a lot. Uh, 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 this is like a lot of fun. I really, I, you know what? I'm I'm excited to turn my brain off. But when I saw Godzilla minus one, I was like. This shit needs to be like like they just have what? to stop. It like, has like that great. fast like, and the furious feel to it. hundred percent. Yes. It's like, oh, yes. the rock and Vin Diesel are standing <laughs> oh, side shit. by side. It now. does like, feel like that. Wow. Damn. Yeah. The, the only yeah. Uh, like that's the like the reaction they were expecting in the theater. Like yeah. oh shit. Yeah. yeah. And, and it was like, like no. I don't give a fuck about that little baby. <laughs> that's true. Or any the other, baby like, Kong? What the fuck yeah. is that? Like this is like no. Congo. That pissed me off. When I saw and baby Kong, I was like apes. Just like make it stop. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing too much. At this it's point. almost like they're trying to sell products with that little baby. For sure. One thousand percent. One thousand percent. Kids are gonna love this fucking toy. little Idiot yeah, looking 100%. Mind, uh, they're, they're making the toys already for next Christmas. They're okay, wait. What was the other one? The Furiosa? <laughs> Let's move past this. Yeah, okay, oh, so... Oh, oh, well, yeah, Kong, I was like, because that... I want to actually see that. So, Godzilla Kong watching it or not watching it? No. No, no. no. I'm going to watch no. it. Just I'm going to watch yeah, it. I, yeah, like, the reason... drunk and then go watch it. The reason... <laughs> we go. We're, okay, no, I'm down for that. We'll if watch we go, it. Yeah, if here's we the thing. At a bar. If we do that, though, we're going to end up causing a scene like all the people in Salt Burn because we're going to be talking and laughing through it. That's okay. I'm down to take it on Godzilla and Kong. Can we... That's, okay, going back to Salt Burn just right. real fast, though. That was the only time in a theater... That like the entire theater is like rumbling the entire time and because I didn't of mind each it. Thing. because and I didn't people mind it kind of help it yes. does because everyone is just like what the fuck yeah, yeah. they're all experiencing <laughs> it like we're all in there together yeah and we're all we like, all what just the like fuck? had like a shared trauma yeah yeah a hundred percent I felt everyone was getting loud and stuff and I was like I feel you keep going yeah. I, was like, I yeah I don't mind this at all. <laughs> 
that's how I would react. I don't want to react that yeah. way, but that's exactly how I would react. Exactly. Um, okay, so Furiosa. We saw Furiosa trailer as well. Yeah. That's the prequel to Mad Max. Furiosa, obviously, Charlie Theron. Directed by George Miller, which one of my favorite directors. And I mean, come on, Mad Max, just in general, which is crazy. He directed Mad Max and he also directed Happy Feet. Very, very cool. Uh, okay. Uh, Mad and Happy. Yeah. Mad Max and Happy Feet. Yeah. Interesting. He said he wanted to direct movies for his kids. And then after his kids got old enough, because he, he made the original Mad Max movies in the 80s uh, with, with, <laughs> with Mel Gibson. Gibson. Haven't yeah. seen a single one. So. Uh, wow. And Not so cool. after a while, he was like, I'm going to make I think kid I've movies. maybe seen like one of them once, but other than that, I couldn't tell you shit about Mad They're Max. not bad. Any of the I like them. They, they did a little, uh, little mo- like a homage to it on uh, California Love, Tupac. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh, that was, that okay. Was California okay. Love and the Rick Thunder and Dome. Morty. That I yeah. know. <laughs> so that was based off Mad Max. Okay, gotcha. Um, mm-hmm. So then this one, True. George Miller's directing it again. Uh, Furiosa with uh, Anna Joy Taylor. She's playing a young Furiosa, and then Chris Hemsworth playing the that. villain. This oh, shit looks. I like Chris Hemsworth. Amazing. Did you not guess? Did you not catch those? Chris no. Chris Hemsworth. That shit looks Thor great. In yeah. Mad Max. And I, I, I thought he well, was no. taking a break from movies. I did too. That like two years ago, right? He announced. I think it? he's yeah. going to try to get as many as he can. Yeah. You know, especially if he's got some kind of condition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which he does. He said this was his best role he's ever played. He said, and I, I have to agree that I think it's going to be because one. He's using his actual accent, his Australian yeah, accent. That's what mm-hmm. I was about to say. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because in Mad Max, the the world that takes place in Australia. Oh. So yeah. the fact that they all have oh, the yeah, Australian Mel accent. Gibson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. It's, so I'm excited to actually and uh, Anna Joy Taylor. I'm guessing what? she's Australian or she's, I don't know. She's just no, a she's phenomenal a, actress. Something. She's Spanish. She's Mex. She's Hispanic. Is no. she? Yes. What? Look her up. She's Hispanic. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> duh. Forgot she is. Yeah. She's just amazing. Like. I loved the Queen's Gambit, and I'm ready for like season two. Mm-hmm. She just know. does a good yeah, job. Yeah, I don't know what that would be about. I, I don't think it either. Was a but series, but I don't know if no. It said there was a season two season coming two. out. Yeah, there, yeah it there said is. there is yeah. a season two. So, then, yeah. it's true. so it's true. I just I don't know. I was like, I think she's just really good. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. yeah. The and her seeing her in this trailer, she looked fucking amazing. To be honest, she mm-hmm. looked badass. Like, I like I say this, and I'm gonna say this. Robin's here. If he. When you put a female to be the main character, don't overdo it and be like, oh, she's going to be the best one. Just make a good movie and it's going to come off badass. She looks dope. She looks badass. I don't. I just feel like it's going to be a badass movie and she's going to be a badass character. And I'm excited. Like, I, I'm not... Right, as of right now, that's probably my most anticipated movie. Yeah, I was year. like, I'm excited. That like, I actually want to see so that great. one. Yeah, that looks... It just looks dope. Like, it just looks... Ama- just the same thing what they did with Charlize on, uh, on Mad Max... They made her, they gave her flaws. Okay, so here's the thing is, what's it. funny is, like, I know her character. Oh, like, or she? not her, but, like, I, uh. What did she give me? Her father's an Argentini of Argentina. English and, and Scottish descent and the son of a British father and an Angela Argentinian mother. And a uh, mother was born in Zambia to an English diplomat father, David Joy, and a Spanish a mother from Barcelona. She's the youngest of six siblings, so, four of whom are her parents. Barcelona and Argentina. No. Oh, okay. That was her grand grandmother. I don't know. It doesn't really say. But she's Argentinian. Argentina, yeah. Oh, okay. hmm. Pretty cool. Pretty crazy. I didn't I, I I learned about that a few months ago and I was like, Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know that. I wouldn't have thought right. that. It's so what are we saying? But uh like Charlie's Theron, I would not picture her as that character. Really? So that's why like now I wanna watch this one and then the other Mad Max afterwards. Oh, you 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 have to see Mad Max. There's like, it is amazing. It is um, I love that. I, I love that movie. And Charlize Theron is um, I mean, every 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 character in that movie is amazing too. Like, I don't know. I, I thought it was a good movie. You, it, Furiosa looks just as good. She doesn't look like Charlize Theron until the end of the trailer, where she was looking at Chris Hemsworth. That's where she looks like her character. Because hmm. you see, she has the black on her head right there. No. Where again? am I looking? Right there. I was looking at that <laughs> guy on yeah. the computer. What the mustache? I was like, not the mustache. Yeah. Well, that also is a cartoon, so. Well, at the like... end, like that's how she had the black on her head right there. That's why. Oh, okay. But it looks dope, though. I'm, I'm. You have to see Mad yeah. Max. You have to see Mad Max. Well, I want to watch the other one first, though. Yeah, Mad Max. Since it's... No, yeah, Mad Max. No. Right? Or which one? <laughs> the Furiosa. Well, you have to watch Mad Max first, and then Furiosa. why? 
I thought you said this is the prequel. Yeah, but you're going to oh, understand that's true. why. Yeah, that's you, a good point. That's, that's true. true. Yeah. That's true, right? <laughs> so it's, like, it's, I an experiment. it's an experiment. It's an experiment. It's an experiment. Yeah. It's an experiment. I get that. Experiment. Let experiment. me fuck it up. But you're going to love her more. <laughs> Let the me reason make my mistake. Well, the reason why they're making a movie was because you love her character so much in Mad Max. Because she... I, I love Tom Hardy's character. He was my favorite in there. But he does get a little bit overshadowed with Charlize Theron's character in, in a good way where you're kind of like, oh, I kind of want to know more about where she came from. So... In order for you to really like her, my guess is you have to watch Mad Max. I don't know. I think I'm just going to like her because I love She's a Anna fucking Joy Taylor, badass on so, that. Or whatever her name is. Anna Joy Taylor. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, I love her. So. Have you seen it? I'm Lego? excited about that. Mm-mm. You've never seen Mad Max either? I haven't seen the clips of it. So that's the thing. I haven't is, seen so either. we'll watch Furiosa and mm-hmm. then Mad Max. Yeah, it's an experiment. And then, and then we can all about. discuss things. Yeah, yeah it's, an exp- it's an experiment. Yeah. Fine. Whatever floats your boat. See what happens. I would prefer y'all see Mad Max so we can talk about it in a few days or whatever. <laughs> have somebody to talk about it with it, you know. Wait, when was it coming out? Uh no, Furiosa, Furiosa comes out next year. No, ah. Mad Max came out. Twenty twenty four. Eighteen. Uh yeah, twenty twenty four. Twenty eighteen. Yeah, twenty eighteen, right? Mad Max came out. Comes out. Twenty twenty four is the new one. Oh, okay. Furiosa. I literally don't remember what year it is anymore. Twenty. Whenever it's all blocked, I'm barely no. getting the hang of it, and <laughs> yes. just in time for the year to change. Yeah. Well, what was it? The uh, other one, the GTA, when it said it was coming out in uh, uh, 2025, 20, and I was like, that doesn't even seem like a real year, right? Yeah, why are you even showing us? Right? Why? Like why? Because like, the I don't care. It's 15 years. You don't want to like maybe like and also keep it going and work on it and perfect it Yo, up until then. So they did that to this game, a billion dollar, where company. they announced the trailer in 2013. They announced the game. In 2013, they announced the trailer in like 2014, and then they kept announcing it in 2015, then in 17, and they didn't release it until Cyberpunk 2022 or 2020. 2021 is when they released the game. They were literally saying they were going to release it every year since like 2013, and they kept stalling and stalling and stalling. And people were like, oh, why do you keep showing us stuff if yeah. y'all don't have like just wait for it to be done? And so, like, even when it's they released so it, it took, like, four different release <clears throat> dates until they finally, within a year and a half, until Cyberpunk finally released. And then when they released it, there was so many bugs that people were like, bro, like, y'all should, people. That's the thing is, like, do you crashing. think. That's the problem is you, you can't with, live up to the hype. Yeah. That's it. What, but, like, do you it's think with the now. movie. It's a good game now. Maybe that they just have, like, all these, like, bits and pieces and they're like, make that the trailer. And then we have two years to keep working on it. That, they used to do that yeah, for a lot of time. Probably. Yeah, probably. Like. They would like it's probably not teaser. even that big in yeah. the game, but it's just what they have developed exactly. so far. Yeah, and uh, in the film industry, immediately, especially in big industries, like if you're filming that day, the moment your memory cards are up, they drop it and they put them in folders, and then they back it all the same day, and then they take it to the studio, and they're immediately uh, syncing all the clips and putting them all together. So simultaneously, as they're filming the new ones, they're sending in the new clips, so the other team's doing it. And so, so that's the thing is like, what's together. the holdup? With the release, then uh, CGI, editing, music, what? sound. But if you have the trailer, oh, well, because the trailer. Okay, so here's Wait, the thing about it. About? That's what I, I don't would, understand. So when you watch trailers, you're watching a very, very rough cut of a trailer, right? Yeah. So you're watching one with no sound design, almost no. Uh, the visual effects are probably twenty percent done, ten percent done. The music's not completely done. They probably were putting in sample music, and they sent it like the composer was like, "Okay, here's a." 30 second of something for that, whatever like that, right? They don't have, like, you're you're getting just a snippet of it, right? Because then they'll re-release the trailer, like, what, four months later, they'll get trailer number two. And if you go and you put the clips that you saw from the first year to that one, you'll be like, holy shit, it's a whole different clip. Like, it's a whole different scene. Mm-hmm. It's all improved now. Like, oh, these characters this. Oh, the color's here. Oh, this looks like that. Like, oh, you so they're consistently, <laughs> they're consistently updating it. Uh, as they go along, I just get very frustrated and need I know. things immediately. Same, yeah, same. that's how I am. Like, why are you gonna get me all hyped up? Yeah, well, I like, like, like cool. seeing a badass dinner and it's like, no, this is for next Christmas. Well, I it's like, like Netflix's uh, Netflix's strategy with movies. So they don't actually promote their movies until three, like the maybe three months before it comes out mm-hmm. at the most. Usually, they start going a month before, and the reason why it is a month before is because. You want to get hype right there, right then and there, right? People are going to go watch it. Three months, I think three months of advertising marketing is perfect. Mm-hmm. I don't want to know about a movie and see a teaser trailer a year ago, year before and be like, next year. I'm like, no. Yeah. Just wait. Don't show me the teaser then yet, right? So uh, Netflix does that where they'll release a trailer and then you're, you're getting the movie next month. You're like, holy shit, that's really... It's very, very rare that it's a 
you're going to wait a long time for the movie, you know? Yeah. But like, I like that about Netflix that when you do see the trailer, you can more than likely guess it'll be, it's going to come out within the next month or two. That's kind of like HBO is like HBO with euphoria. I think just screwed themselves because they did so good. And then they had so much hype going into the third season and they just kept having drama and drama. And oh, they were yeah. like, we're going to release it like two years from now. And then half, and and half, half, half of the cast yeah. ends up dying and then like also not signing. And so you're just like, well, you lost it. Yeah. So yeah, they were overdoing now, it. I didn't even yeah. get to finish, but they were literally overdoing it on Euphoria. Like all the behind the scenes shit yeah. was going on. It uh, was just insane. And it's sad because like, and once again, there was another, that was another like fucked up show, but like it was so well done. I never and, watched that one. Oh, it's it was good. really good. It's really good, but it's very, uh, it's just sexual. Like, it's very, it's very, very sexual and very dark. But it's good though. Like, I like very it. dark, but like the, I guess, cinematography and stuff behind yeah. that too. I really like the like design and way it's done. Yeah. It was just, and I don't know shit about that, but like it was just done very, very well. Yeah. The season one cinematography and stuff was done really mm-hmm. well, but the season two one was done even mm-hmm. better. I was like, holy shit, they hmm. stepped up their fucking How many game. seasons is it? Two. Yeah. Oh. And then they released like two parts of like. Oh, that did that yeah, sucked. Like, that shit yeah. with Rue and whatever. Yeah. I that hate sucked. when they did. At that point, I was just like, you're getting I'm pretentious, bro. The director, huh? Rue? Rue? Wasn't that somebody's name on Hunger Games? It is, or yeah. Is it oh, I was like, oh, but oh, there was a Rue, uh, was one of the main characters in Euphoria. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what uh, Netflix releases trailers uh, monthly because they do the what to watch thing every yeah. month. Oh yeah, for the month. That's what I like about that. Yeah, so they're like December's month to watch, and they'll have like mm-hmm. this. Be, week, this yeah, week. they'll show you like new I shows. I got rid stuff. of my Netflix. Why? Oh. And I just do my Hulu's now. Mm. I do my Hulu and my uh, Amazon Prime. Okay. See, we don't. Yeah. I don't. The only reason we're keeping Netflix for right now is because of Rebel Moon. Okay. We were talking about it. We were we could cancel Disney Plus, uh, and we were talking about like what else we should cancel. We we're like Netflix, but we were like, now nah, Rebel Moon comes out in mm-hmm. December. I have to wait for that. Y'all keep going. I need to go. go ahead. <laughs> I have to wait <clears throat> for for Rebel Moon. Oh, what'd you think? I think of the Sunny D. It's good. Oh, Gibby, go to the fridge. Harry, the freezer in the in the little fridge. Get Free- the- Dang, I, I left them in there. Hurry up. What is it? I left two of those in there by accident. Two of these? Yeah, but they're in the freezer. Oh, no. <laughs> they're going to explode. They're uh, in mom's little cooler in the top, top, top little cabinet. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot. Are they good? Or are they, like, no, they're, they're good. They're, I saw them and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get these. Well, here's the thing is like, I'm not going to lie. Is like, I love Sunny D. Mm. Like, a Sunny D is always going to hit. So. Yeah. It doesn't taste obviously like sunny d but it's good but it's good yeah yeah i saw that and that was the only thing that was like unique and so i was like you know what we'll try this one out yeah but i've been fasting mm-hmm. so i'm, I'm doing a three-day fast this oh. is my first day. are you just doing a water fast or yeah, what just water and so uh um right now i'm about to complete my first day uh I'm hungry as fuck. Yeah. I am, I am so I, I've done three day fast before too. And typically the second day is the worst. Oh, that's tomorrow. So the second day is the worst. And then by the third, you're like, I can do this. And then you're done. Yeah. yeah. So then you're, then you're just like, okay, so, it's fine. Yeah. I made it because Sebastian, my son's birthday is on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. When the episode drops up today. So happy birthday, Sebastian. <laughs> uh, so I was like, we're going to eat then. So I was like, I'm just going to wait till then. So me and Gabby were both like, All right, cool. We're just going to fast. But I've been so hungry. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh. It's definitely like a mind over matter thing. Oh, for sure. Thank you. For sure it is. But like, um, one of the other things to do is like, do you do bone broth? No, no, I've never done that. So bone broth is one thing that you can add into your fasting. Mm-hmm. And then you actually get like some nutrients from it. Is it just like the, the soup of it? Like the water? So you can literally, or? so you can make bone broth yeah. or you can actually buy like organic bone broth. And there's like turkey oh. chicken beef like whatever yeah, but a lot this. of them um will add like turmeric or ginger or things yeah, that yeah, are yeah. also like anti-inflammatory yeah. and so then you also get like extra health benefits from that and it's a liquid so yeah yeah oh okay i gotta try you know that. yeah especially when i'm fasting because i'm probably gonna mm-hmm. do this like once a month well i'll do all fast monday yeah. tuesday wednesday type of thing so do I'll it i have to jump in to do that because just yeah. getting some type of even flavor mm-hmm. is just good enough. You know, like that's, yeah. I think that's what it is. It's rough, yeah. but no, I was like, it does have a lot of health benefits too. <sighs> yeah. I just want to clean, cleanse my body right now. It's just, yeah. you have a little reset or a little reboot. I feel you on that, especially after the holidays. Oh yeah. So, and pre uh, more holidays. I'm just hungry though. <laughs> but I had barbecue yesterday 
From Soul from Man, where? Soul Man D. D. Where's that? It's right here down the street. Soul Man D. Yeah, it's called. What's it called, Gibby? Soul, Soul Man's Barbecue. Soul Man D's Barbecue, something like that. <laughs> it's because he was there with us yesterday. Well, he got it from with us yesterday. Uh, it's right here off of Altamesa and uh, Sycamore. Okay. And, was it uh, good though? Yeah, it was pretty good. Like we were like, all right, let's go try it out. Fuck it, and uh, we got a pulled pork sandwich, and then it was two sides and a drink for bro eleven dollars. Oh, oh shit. I was like, I was like that's a really good deal. That. Yeah. No, I was like, holy shit. And it, it, it's a it's a chain, I believe, but it was really, really good. And we went late, mm. like an hour before it closed. So we didn't get like the freshes and it was still good. And Gabby was oh, like, We have to come impressive. back. Like yeah, and we were like, we yeah. have to come back for like the fresh in the morning. Like Yeah. So after our fast, probably Thursday or Friday, we'll probably go get some of that over there again just to try it out earlier. Nice. But like I never heard of it. Look that. it up, Gibby. It's yeah. called uh We have a Soul Man's barbecue. Now. Oh, which one? A Heim. Oh, mm. Heim? Oh, they, 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 they made one out there, there in Burleson. Now. We were going to go to that Rudy's, that one that you were, you went to. What's it called? Rudy's, uh, right there next to Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, we were going to stop yeah. there after we saw Godzilla. I, we were going to stop there, but then I was like, nah, we'll, we'll eat something later. And then we were like, let's go there. It was out there, Soul Man's Barbecue. Hmm. Oh, I've seen that. Uh, the logo. Pig? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good, man. Not going to lie. Interesting. Yeah. I would recommend to anybody who pretty wants good. to go over there. Yeah. I, I thought it was really, really good. Man. Not I always bad. forget about barbecue. I never do. I I only <laughs> reason, <laughs> only reason I do not like because it's so expensive. So I'm like that's <sighs> the thing is like I think that also because so many of the places like in Fort Worth for barbecue close at like three. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, and yeah. when am I going to get there before three o'clock? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like unless like I never am like I want barbecue for lunch. Yeah, at eleven. You Let's know, some barbecue. So that has to be like a weekend thing. Yeah, that's kind yeah. of a tough meal to eat during lunch because yeah. then you don't it's really heavy. want to do shit after no, that no mm-hmm. not at all like a half pound of any type of meat mm-hmm. no you get the meat sweats Sounds amazing. oh yeah that's yeah. just that's good though stop i'm fasting <laughs> so, so think about it bro yeah. i want more pictures of i it. want a quarter pounder so bad uh, stop dude mcdonald's has not sounded good for a long time you know mcdonald's uh no. california made Mac- mcdonald's uh put a warning sign outside just like they did on uh cigarettes warning the cancer and stuff chemicals that mcdonald's puts good they said they so mcdonald's has it but california said that they have to put it on their door so people could see it now and that's a california law now so people know what they're putting in their body so okay that's like in mexico whenever you go at the airport even like everywhere like on dr pepper it says like excessive amount of calories which they should they and have it on says or it yeah. says like excessive sugar yeah. like all That's everything in Mexico, America. yeah. I was like, everything in Mexico, all the cans have like warning yeah, labels Mexican on cans. them, so it's mm-hmm. bad. But like, you should not tell me this doesn't look good, <laughs> yeah. It's good, but then when you get mm-hmm. it, you're like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's always disappointing. Yeah, it always it's is just disappointing. all the burgers the taste yeah. exactly the same, like cardboard, mm-hmm. they're and all because it's and, not real. And hot take, but I, I have to say it now, it definitely oh, no. have to say it. But water burger is not that good. It's I've gone not so anymore. many times, not anymore. I, had, I was like, I love Waterburger. I, I, I haven't too. been there Don't in forever. Don't ruin it by going back. No. Just really? Keep yeah, just keep that memory. Keep keep that memory. Why? Memories. What's going on with Waterburger? Well, ever since Waterburger got sold uh, to the Chicago Bank, the, really? they've, been, they've been expanding it. And think about it. like They want to expand and make more so everything's going to be cheaper. They're going to get cheaper oh. products and cheaper stuff. So it, 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 you could taste it cheaper. Like I used to fight people on like, no, Waterburger is the that was best. The best. Like. And you could go and I'm like, there's no way this doesn't slap. Bro, taste that shit slaps. And now I'm like, damn, it's just, I'm disappointed. It's so disappointing that when twice. I go, it's the chicken tenders, the chicken the chicken strips now. Because I can't do the burgers. They're not that good. Yeah. It was like That's really, really sad. salty. And just, yeah. Really? I don't know. It was just kind of, and then we went and then it was like, eh, maybe it was just a bad experience. And you know who I have beef with it's right gross. now? It's bad. Is, and I hate to say this, is Dr. <laughs> Pepper. Dr. Pepper doesn't taste the I same. I know what he likes soda. I was like, it's the like it's so I only drink Dr. Pepper whenever I'm like hungover or just like yeah. once maybe a month. But the last time I had like a Dr. Pepper, it just didn't taste the same. Was nasty. I used to love yeah, it's just like, it was just like ugh. I used to love they, Dr. Oh, I hope not. They taste syrupy, the Dr. Peppers to me. Yeah, they taste it like just this, ugh. But it, it also a headache it too. was like that, but it also then tasted like nothing. 
I don't know. It just really made me sad because mm. it used to be like my little guilty pleasure. Yeah, and now you're just like now this I'm is just disgusting. like. Mm-mm. I haven't had a Dr Pepper in a long time. Yeah, I was like, like I had the headaches so without whiskey in it. Dr Peppers are pretty good. Back, I mean, yeah. from last time I had one, they were pretty good. <laughs> I prefer them over Coke and everything. Pass on Dr Pepper. My big. Fan. I was like, now I like have turned into an old. Like, I used to not drink tea, and now I'll just oh, do like I'll tea. do like a half and half tea. Yeah. And I'm just like, wow. You'll get I'm to the point where now. you'll get to the point where you'll do unsweet and it'll be so good. Because I used to be sweet Ugh. tea, and I used to be, I went from sweet tea to Splenda to I don't like Splenda <laughs> to half and half, mm-hmm. and then I went to okay, let me put a little bit of sugar to I can do unsweet, and I'm like, this shit is so. I normally do good. that, or I'll do like an Arnold Palmer. People I'll do drink like those unsweet are good tea too. need to be taken out to a field. <laughs> Oh wait, what is that? What you people that the drink gun unsweetened tea? Like that shit is so. <laughs> like I hate when you accidentally <laughs> drink unsweetened tea. It's like oh, the worst. Like oh, you, yeah. you get so mad at the person that handed it to you. Yeah, that's no, the only that's time it. that I've ever been close to like going that's off true. on a fucking if, waiter. If you don't like unsweet tea, then I understand the anger. When you take a swip, sip of it and you're Sweet. like, what the? Swip? Yeah, that shit. Like, I get it because oh. I used to be that person. I'd be like, yeah, like, you asshole. Because when go, you, kill, bro, jump off a cliff, bro. Because when you accidentally, yeah, like, are you fucking with me? Yeah. Like when bro. people, I remember, like, you you get handed and you're like, oh, this is your Coke. And you're like, all right, thanks. And then you drink it and you're like, what is this? Yeah. Well, I used, I had a friend who I went to his house and I asked him, because they had soda and I was like, I don't want soda. He got tea. He's like, yeah, my mom has tea in there. And, she, and he go, this motherfucker goes, and it's the chicken express tea. I was like, oh, Oof. yeah. Oh, that so I so get good. the gallon, mm. pour that mm-hmm. shit, swig it up. I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, this is unsweet. He goes, oh, yeah, my mom don't like sweet tea. Like, Bitch, then why you would gotta, you even yeah, say you gotta, it's what's chicken express? What's the point express? of going to chicken express? Bro, yeah. I was so angry. I was like, dude. He goes, well, yeah, you that can add some sugar. Yes. sugar <laughs> yeah. fucking label on For it. For sure. I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, that one definitely <laughs> does. Yeah, because it's, it's so like good. it's good. Like unsweet tea is good, but if you don't know, it's like if you're not aware that it's unsweet tea, then it sucks. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be disgusting. I used to go to uh, to Chick Chick Fil A, Chicken Express, <laughs> when they would have the like the bucket of unsweet tea for like a dollar fifty. Like it was like I don't a remember big, a bucket ever. It was a big motherfucker. Like I'm talking about a huge. It was like a jumbo, like the jumbo cup of unsweet tea at Chick Fil A. Chick Chicken Express. Oh, Chicken Express. Chicken Express. And then they also had a. Uh, they had a bucket. Was it fries? No, that was McDonald's. McDonald's had a bucket of fries. I remember. I remember the last time I saw that shit was in seventh <laughs> grade. Someone came out when I was at. Uh, we were doing a car wash for a JROTC JCC, and one of my friends. You went were inside. in there. Yeah, in middle school. In middle school. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was in like, middle I school, see not high school. Yeah, I can't picture. Yeah, you. I was like, not I need it. to see photos. Just right middle now. school, <laughs> and it was just to pull the bitches, all right? And I pulled zero bitches. You know I was how, gonna say. I was like, I don't no. remember anyone pulling bitches in JROTC. Exactly. And then I realized that. Oh, you know how embarrassing it was. <laughs> tell me why in eight in seventh grade at JROTC, I was already like, I'm gonna leave this shit, right? But tell me why in the announcements they go, all right, guys, now we're nominating. Now we're gonna give you the nominations for the uh, for the um, for the king and queen for JCC dance. In my head, I'm like, Isn't that like there's army? literally no percentage going through my head that there's my name's gonna be popped up on there. I'm literally on my mm-hmm. desk just chilling. They're naming all eighth graders, and then the last one, Jesus Fossils, and I'm like, what the fuck? Tell me why these three girls turn around and go. Bro, we did it as a joke. We did not think you were going to get nominated. I was like, oh, what? So three that? whole girls. Like so, no, they told more people to vote oh. for me. So, because, yeah. Hilarious. And I was like, what? So I felt like shit. But because of that, there was more people that were like, what? You got nominated? You know, like my guy friends were like, fuck yeah, bro. And I was like, well, these bitches, you know, whatever. But I remember like JCC, I was like, that was the biggest thing of JCC was like, I was like, oh. I got nominated for King. Whether it was a joke or not, yeah. I was nominated for a some King. Some say it was so, a joke. Some say, but There's I will no say, proof. my guy friends say they voted for me for my good looks. So I will say I'm going to go with the, it was not a joke. That sounds very military-esque. Yeah, so. yeah. What were we saying though before that? We are talking about JCC. <laughs> You're talking about uh, chicken express tea. Yeah, yeah. Tea. Back in those days, yeah, in the seventh grade. No, oh, no the car and, wash. And, and McDonald's, yeah. When I had the JCC thing, one of the, one of the kids went in there. And he was, I'm gonna go get some fries. And then motherfucker came out with like a bucket. And I was like, how do you get that? He's like, just ask for a bucket of fries. He goes, it's five dollars. What? I went in there. Not anymore. And no, no, no. There's no that doesn't exist anymore. Damn. Violence. Uh. That doesn't exist anymore. But I remember going in there and I would order a bucket of fries. I would we would get the 20 piece nuggets and a bucket of fries. Did you know apparently uh 
McDonald's has like if it's your birthday, you can ask. Oh, that little for flat ca- ass cake. Yeah, a cake yeah. or something, and it's like an ice cream cake. I've never that they keep bucks, in the back. So. I oh, it eat, is. Yeah. I'd eat it though. I'd oh, I was out. like, I saw like a thing on TikTok about yeah, it. They're like, did what... you know you can like ask for a birthday cake? And I was like, what? That military yeah. guy. That. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh huh. I was like, it was just like I so saw. random. I would like to try it. I'm not gonna lie. And I was just like, hmm. <laughs> this. Yeah, I would like to try. It. Yeah, it's heard... like a little flat cake. But, but everybody I think says he good. said it was <laughs> like twenty bucks. Yeah, but everybody said it's pretty good. I don't know. It just it was very interesting to me. Look, avatars is on the McDonald's website. Birthday cake. Hmm. Birthday. Um, speaking of schools, though, can I tell y'all something really stupid I recently more. did? Yeah, tell totally. Or at least I found out that I did. Yeah. So, like, growing up, I was, like, have lived in, you know, Fort Worth. And I went to just high school in Granbury. And so, I, people were always just like, where did you go to school? And I was like, Monning, over by, like, you know, Ridgemar, oh, yeah, yeah. Ridgely, like, whatever. And everyone's just like, really? And so I was talking to this guy and he was just like, oh, he was like, yeah, that's where I went, you know, for middle school or like high school. And I was just like, no, I was like, it's elementary school. He's like, no, <laughs> he was just like, no, it's not. And I was like, Monning. And I was like, yeah, I was like, there's Monning and it's right next to like the like other that's school, private school right? or whatever. No, not private school whatsoever. I don't know what that is then. Um, And so we're like talking and he's just like. Are you talking about ML Phillips? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I've been telling people I went to the wrong school. Holy shit. For literal years. So you didn't I even know what <laughs> school you went to? <laughs> and fighting and fighting people that nah, yes. went to Monning. The I well, I will so Monning and ML Phillips are right next to each other. Monning is a middle school, no? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And That's so, how I remembered it. That's why I was like, wait. I what? yeah, I've never and so heard of it was literally so they're right, my sister, I've they're heard of it. literally right next to each other. And so, but I was like, no, I was like, I was there from like third to sixth grade. And they're just like, no, that was Mary Louise Phillips. You're it's right. ML Phillips. And I was like, I've been telling people I went to Monning. Were you immediately like, for, yes. Yeah, I was I like, to, yes. Fuck. I was like, I literally was. I was like, I am an absolute moron. For literal years, I've been <laughs> oh telling people I went to the wrong whole school. Life. Like the majority of my life as an adult, I've been telling people I went to the wrong school. Holy shit. This so one? that's. Is that the... Yeah, I remember playing football there in middle school. That's why we would play the school over there in morning and they would play us. That's how I know morning. I think I played a I was, concert. I was like, when you said elementary, I was like, elementary? I was kind of no. confused. I was like, did I play them in elementary? Yeah. I don't remember playing them in I elementary. I think I played a concert here once. Yeah, um, <laughs> I was like, oh. It's funny you said, because like yesterday, I was getting irritated with my wife because she wasn't understanding. Like, we were like, let's go eat burgers, right? And she's like, where do you want to go? And I was naming places. And I was like, oh, we can go to Griff's. We can go to Grum's. Mm. And I was like, we can go to Jake's. And she goes, Jake's? And I was like, yeah, we can go to Jake's. She goes, where's Jake's at? I go, Jake's, babe. Like, Jake's. She's like, where's Jake's? And I was like, the burger place we always go to, babe. Like, Jake's. Like, it's fucking right there by TCU. She's like, Jake's? And I was like, yeah, there's even one right here by Ridgemore. Like, I'm like, bro, like, Jake's. She goes, babe, I'm trying to understand. I don't think I've ever been there. I go, babe, I was like, yo, I was like, we've been there. I, I was like, you love that place. What are you talking about? And she goes, are you talking about Tommy's? And I was like, fuck. Oh, I was about to say, because oh I saw you uh, at Tommy's before. Yeah, and, that's what it was. and I was like, fuck. I was like, I am so sorry, babe. I was like, yes, Tommy. And even my daughter was actually like, I was confused too. Like, I've never been to Jake's Burgers. I was like, bro, yes. I mean, Jake's there is a, yeah, good. I was like, it used Jake's, to be yeah. good. Yeah. The downtown one, that's what I was remembering. Yeah. Yeah. Jake's, yeah. <laughs> But it was Tommy's. And I, it reminded me of that because I was like, I was, telling, I was like, bro, it's Jake's. And she was just, I don't know what you're talking Tommy's about. Tommy's is good. And I was mad that I'm like, you know where it, what I'm talking about. Yeah, That's the thing is, is I oh, Tommy's is really good. But it just oh, made yeah. me so mad because I was like, wow. I was like, I've been lying to people. How long have you been saying that for? I, I don't know. Like, since I was 18, probably. <laughs> since she was in that school. <laughs> <laughs> like... I went to Monning Elementary. Yeah. Like it made no, and I'm surprised no one ever corrected me up until literally like two weeks ago. Well, when, like, how would it bring it? Like, were you just like, yeah, I went to the elementary. When they would ask what elementary, you yeah. went to Monning. But like, and here's the thing is like, no one went to the same school. That's what so, I said, maybe like, nobody. That was the thing. Yeah, so, so, I don't think anyone ever. away with it with me because I don't know what the hell that even no, is. No, but the well, I mean, she said yeah. elementary, I, when my head popped, I was like, I think that's a middle. When you were telling the story, mm-hmm. I was like, that's a Oopsie middle daisy. school. So I would have called her out on that because I remember playing them in football. That's why I was yeah. like, there's no way that's an elementary. And that's why I knew the story was going. I was like, oh, she's confused. I just, yet. yeah. 
It was one of those moments. I was like, you know what? I was like, I had a senior moment. But it's funny because like in those moments, like you were just like, it was an immediate like, yep, you're right. And I've been wrong. Mm -hmm. Like like, there was no thinking. You were like. Got to think back to every conversation you've ever had. Yeah, fighting at dinner. a lot of people. With Thanksgiving <laughs> with her family last year, yeah. they're fighting. I need to apologize to a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So yeah, lesson learned. Um, sometimes you're wrong. What, how it's long? Crazy. You just say it. One hour and fifteen minutes. Oh, okay, I was like, no. just, just saying. On yeah. what? Uh, what that was? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, Sonic. Well, he's not here, but he did have some questions that he wanted to yeah. ask because we were talking. He's um, Sonic. he's single okay and he's uh divorced mm-hmm. and i was we were talking about how i was like i'm having robin on and he was just like oh i want to ask her some questions he wanted to come on and i was like no you're not coming and i was like i was like well i was like, we're, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I was like chill 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 sonic no i was because we were watching movies i was like well we're gonna do this yeah. and he's just like oh okay whatever he's like well ask her some questions because he recently went on a date okay with this one girl um and he was asking me like uh like how like what do you think about first like going on a date like about paying and stuff on the first date because he didn't know he the way he sees it when he goes on a date he goes i don't expect a girl to pay he goes but i do like it when they almost offer it makes me know that they have a good heart like okay like i'm not gonna be you know like that almost lets him know that if things got serious that they would be there like immediately they're like oh i'm offering like that's fine whatever like that Mm. or like Oh, well, how much do I put in? Or let me put the tip, whatever. Yeah, because you don't want them to expect it. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly, yeah. exactly. And so he was asking, like, he's like, "What? Do you, how do you like just in? Because this is guy thought. Like, what do you? I mean, I have a in? lot. So go for it. Go here's for the thing: it. is I have a lot of different like opinions on this now. Okay, go for it. And I, my opinions have changed <laughs> like over the course of years, but like as I've gotten older, this is my perspective as of today. If a man is asking you on a date, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. why would it not be expected that he pay? For sure. I agree. Mm-hmm. I Definitely. Agree. 100%. Definitely. So that is my take on that is like, why should she even pretend like he's saying is like, yes, it's going to make you feel better internally, but wh- why do you need that? Yeah. Like you should be going into it with the expectation. Like a lot of women like whenever you're going to go and approach like females to date and stuff, we all bring different things to the mm-hmm. table. Mm-hmm. You want to date a female because she brings other things besides a wallet mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to the mm-hmm. table. For mm-hmm. sure. So it's one of those scenarios where like, I feel like you just have to look at it as, do you want to be a provider? Do you want to be this to someone or are you looking for a true 50, 50 yeah. partnership? So because some women, want that Mm -hmm. they want a 50 50 let's split everything but that also means when it comes to housework and things you're gonna have to pitch in and do 50 50 as well Mm -hmm. yeah so it's kind of like a pick and choose your battles Mm -hmm. i guess see see, for me the way i see it was more essentially along the lines of like you i I, to me so i okay if for example if i were to take a girl on a date I'm never expecting her to pay ever, ever. I'm not expecting mm-hmm. the female to pay whatsoever. For me, that's that's that. I think that just goes in general. Like, if you as a man are gonna expect the girl to pay or pay half or whatever, you're not a man. I'm sorry, bro. And you shouldn't be going on dates whatsoever at all. As a man, you ask her on a date, you should pay. You should be the offering to pay, right? But I'm, I do like it if like I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna pay. And if the female was like, oh, do you want me to leave the tip? And I'm like, no, of course I don't want you to leave. That. I'll do it. But like the fact that they would even offer, offer that makes yeah. me go like, oh, that's. That's cool. Like that's kind of like so a, you don't need to now, do that. Now it's not necessarily saying like they need to do that, and I'm going to be thinking differently. Like it's not that right, but it's like there are females, and this is from Sonic telling me that they definitely come off like the whole like you're paying right type of shit where you well, feel one thousand percent, you know. But here's the thing: is once you immediately get that vibe, mm-hmm. that already tells you where you stand. And if that's not someone, if they're giving you that vibe and it makes you uncomfortable, that's not someone you should be continuing to date. Got you. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's yeah, yeah, very sure. simple. And like we as humans like to overcomplicate scenarios. <laughs> for sure. Especially when it comes to dating. And once you start getting older and you're dating, like there's a lot of married people and pee in the dating pool. Mm-hmm. Like that's how things are now. Yeah. Like, and so pee? pee and married people. Like everyone's this- like, oh, there's plenty of people out in the dating pool. 
there's married people in the dating pool. There's pee oh, in the dating like pool. Actual pe- people. Like there's like, like married people. In the pool. Oh, yeah, I was like, no, I was like, there's some married people. Shit? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't it's know. my you education. Yes. You don't know. It's my moning yeah. education. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's. You will get to. <laughs> <laughs> but it's one of those things I think, especially if we're talking about just dating. So let's say, you know, the first ten dates. I don't think a female, and this is just my perspective mm-hmm. once again, if you're truly wanting to like be a provider and you want to date and, you know, do things in a traditional manner, then I'd say like the first 10 dates. No, I was like, I don't think that the female should be even like, I think as long as she's appreciative mm-hmm. of what you're doing and saying like, hey, thank you so much. Like I had such a good time. Like I appreciate you being such a gentleman whenever we go out and taking care of things. I think there's different ways that you can have that handled versus being like, hey, do you want me to just get the tip? Yeah, yeah. Or something no, I, like that. Yeah, I agree. No, I'm, I'm so I think you. it's one of those things is like kind of just seeing people. When people show you their true colors. Mm-hmm. And we so often want to give people benefit of the doubt and whatever else. Not everyone lives up to the potential that they we think they have. And some yeah. people just want a free meal. Yeah. Yeah. So I think true. the second that whenever you feel like any of those things that you're just like, oh, I don't feel like that person was very appreciative. I think that's your red flag right yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Like the second you feel that be like, okay, cool. I tried it. Let's move on to the next. Yeah, that's true. So, okay. So then regarding dates then. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Cause you know, me and Lyric were married. So we've never, we haven't been in a dating pool and it's been Jesus Christ so long. Right. But like 14 years, the way I, yeah. <laughs> How old do you give me? Yeah. So the, the, Cause I've talked to, I've talked to my wife about it. I'm like, if I ever were to go on dating, I would immediately let them know exactly like, like this is exactly like, cause I don't want to fucking play around. Right. So like mm-hmm. when you go on dates, are you up front or like telling them exactly what you're looking for? Or do you guys wait a little bit until you kind of uh, talk about it? Because I kind of feel like that's a waste of time. Like I would genuinely just straight up be like, look, I'm looking for a stay at home wife. I'm going to take care of you. Like, I, I think if you weren't I would married, straight up be honest then it about would everything. be harder. Like, I think now, like, if I were <laughs> to become you. single again, Got it's you. like, all right, I'm not here for no bullshit. Got you. This is what it mm-hmm. is. It, before we even make That's it to so a true. dinner table, you're going to know what it is. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. here's the thing is, I think that it's okay, different yeah. for men and women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And here's my perspective on that is... First of all, I had like this entire year, I haven't been on a single date. Mm-hmm. Like I have intentionally not dated because I've wanted to just take a break. It's yeah. dating is hard. It sucks. I needed to focus on myself mm-hmm. and I feel like going into the new year, I'll be OK. Yeah. But the thing is, so from a male perspective, I think to a female, that is like exactly what a female wants to have the man say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. You know, you're either in or you're out. Like, let's not waste each other's time. I feel like a lot of females, like, appreciate that because men don't do that anymore. Yeah. But the thing is, a lot of females are asked that first. Mm -hmm. And we're basically, like, it's what we're, what we tell them can basically be used to manipulate. Yeah, yeah. So if a female's just like, oh, well, I'm looking for a guy that's this, this, and this. Typically, a man can then use that information he's been fed and manipulate and become a character. Well, that's because guys like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's yeah. And so that and so yeah, that's the yeah. thing is so mm-hmm. what, that's funny though what, that she says that because it's true. Well, it's true. And yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. what a lot of women are basically told to do now, and this yeah. is from like dating professionals and therapists, yeah, is they yeah. basically say what females are supposed to do, quote unquote, is they're supposed to say. I like to let someone show me who they are so I can see if I would want to date them. Yeah. And I was like, honestly, I think that that's pretty good advice because it's, you but should be. How are we supposed to see who you are if you're sitting there watching me? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but see, that's the thing is like, I feel like in general, like when you go into like <clears throat> dating, you're both kind of like judging each other yeah. mm-hmm. and you're like sizing each other up at the beginning. But I think you also know is if it like there's an immediate vibe and chemistry, yeah. you're going to let those walls down and well, start like showing each other who you are and being honest yeah. and starting to like let those things go. Well, men are very smart and dumb. So like we we know when we're in a bad situation and we, we kind of I try to outweigh it with like like 
Like we know if we're, we're like someone who's not good for us, but we're like, but she's fucking bad. Like we know that we, yeah. we, we mentally go like, but you know, like, so we try to outweigh, counteract. Yeah. We other. try to outweigh like, Oh, well mm-hmm. yeah, she's a bitch and blah, blah, blah. She's, you know, but she's a baddie and she, you know, we try to outweigh those, though that was so, we know what we're doing. We're just very stupid. I mean, like, well, you I mean, know, but whatever. see, so women are stupid too, though, because they'll literally sit say, there and yeah. be like, well, he lied to me about this, but he said he was going to change and da, 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 and all this stuff. And for some reason, we all continue, regardless yeah. of like sex, to give each other excuses and lies and to like change who we are yeah. and to then expect the other other person to change who they're. Why? Like, why not just be like, hey, this isn't working. We both deserve what we actually want. Let's just part ways and look for it. Do you think, somewhere else? Do you think though, like, so the way I see, the way I would see in relationships is like you, you can't be selfish. Like so, so a lot. There's like a lot in the world today is like a lot of like me, me, how I feel. Well, I want to do it. How what makes me feel good? What makes me this? Makes me, 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 me. And to me, I'm just like that's selfish because like if I were to always think me, 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 I would never have my kids, right? If I were to always think me, 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 yeah, maybe I'd have like a a better film career right now, right? But like, what would my relationship be with my kids and my wife? Would I be with my wife? What would what would my relationship be with everything else? Because I would be focusing just me, 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 right? And I feel like a lot of people today focus so much on that that Mm -hmm. they get lost. So when something doesn't go right, they go like, "Well, this doesn't feel right to me." Me this, and sometimes or most of the time, you you can't be selfish. Like I also go into being like, I feel this way, but I'm like, but how does my wife feel? Well, how does my son feel? Well, how does this? And I'm just like, at the end of the day, I'm like, we're all humans, and. I can't just put my things ahead of everybody because then I'll never be happy. I'll never be satisfied. Mm-hmm. I'll always be searching and looking without realizing like you got to go through these. So things. what you just said mm-hmm. is, and this is my perspective on mm-hmm. things. I think that a lot of people who are in those relationships where they feel unfulfilled or mm-hmm. they're like in the situation where they're with a girl who's maybe drop dead gorgeous, but they have zero chemistry mm-hmm. And so then they're just like, why am I with this person? Like they're pretty to look at, but there's like nothing beneath the surface. I think a lot of people get in relationships because one, they're like lonely Mm -hmm. and they just need someone like they're very codependent. (coughs) But then also I think a lot of people have never really figured out who they are Yeah, and like who they are on the inside. And so they just end up, they just need someone to go along with them for the ride. Got you. And so that's one of the scenarios is like what you're saying, though, is like people that can be self-aware and self-reflect are the ones that are just like, okay, well, this is what I want in life. But I also want to make my kids happy. I want to make my wife happy. I want all these things. So let me how do I find balance in Mm -hmm. doing that? Yeah. But that's the thing is so many people are not willing to do that. Yeah. Because they're so focused on me 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 yeah i'm not happy this like they play the victim and whatnot victim mentality is something that i think needs discussed way more than it ever is yeah because so many people who play the victim have no fucking clue what it's really like to be a victim yeah, of anything real. yeah they just like the attention a lot of mm-hmm. these people and it's it's it, it's very like self-centered self-seeking yeah. <clears throat> behavior and it's hard because like those people are also draining Mm -hmm. like they're very very draining but it's whenever it comes to like dating that's once again something is like a lot of this talk of like oh well you know i'm a high value like whatever like if she what is you know like she bringing to the table Mm -hmm. or like what is she doing would a person that's really high value be so worried about being taken advantage of no it's like one of those scenarios is just like no they would see hey this person doesn't respect me the way I deserve to be respected, I'm going to walk away. Yeah. And I also do hate those conversations where they're all like, uh, well, if this man is a high value, what do you bring to the table? And I'm just like, okay. It, even if the girl responds with like, well, you know, I can cook and clean and I can take care of the kids. They're all like, that's it. And I'm just like, yeah, but like, bitch, but, I would have been cool with that. I would have been like, yeah, that's good enough. But for those me. are like, also very like okay. old traditional things. Like yeah. women bring things like comfort. Mm-hmm. Women bring things like uplifting their man. Like, there's more to it than like actual physical things. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what so many people get stuck on today, but that's also what society stuck on is it's like everything is physical. It has to be like attainable and touchable. Yeah. Not like anything that's like emotional (laughs) and for our like own well being. So then, okay. So if you go on a date and 
you guys are just straight telling each other what you guys want. What would what type of relationship would you want? What 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 would um what would the guy what would you want the guy to say to you like immediately be like, look this is what i'm looking for for you to be like okay i'm, I'm done for that like okay now the next date's gonna say exactly what <laughs> i know <laughs> i know i'm just that's the thing well I, I would have to get a date first okay so. well let me give you some examples then okay i'll throw you one scenario okay we're on a date right and i'm just some random guy and i'm like hey in this relationship we're gonna go 50 50 on everything you're gonna pay half the bills i'm gonna pay half the bills when we go eat you know we'll pay we'll go half and half everything's gonna be half and half like you know so and so and so like what how do you feel in that relationship how do you feel i wouldn't be in that relationship so you'd be like that's a no go for me right no you finish the date boom 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 bye we're out of here i I, here's the thing and this is also maybe just because it's based on my perspective of like things i've already been through i've been in those scenarios Mm -hmm. and guess what they don't work out yeah they do not work out and it's not even just a financial thing because i've also been on the other end of it where i've taken care of everything financially because the other person wasn't able to at the time Mm -hmm. and I was resented for it. Yeah. So in what world is then just going 50, 50 going to change that? Like, I feel like there, if you want an actual like dynamic, like at least for me with a man, I want to be able to look up to my man Mm -hmm. and like, almost it sounds fucked up, but like almost like serve him and Mm -hmm. like, listen, like I like a traditional old school relationship. And so for me to do that, if I'm the breadwinner, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I, That's how I feel. Now, I do like... I know that there are certain females who don't necessarily look that way. They kind of look more like... My wife is very like, well, I don't care. Like, you're the breadwinner. You're this. Like, she looks at me like the top, but she's yeah. also like, but I can also help and make some extra money. No, and that's the and thing. I'm is cool like, yeah, that. and that's like, totally okay, fine. That's fine. Because you work out that dynamic as yes. long as, like, you know the relationship you want. Because there's some women who want the... Like, I want to be a stay-at-home wife. I want to raise kids. I don't want to work. Like, I this is exactly what I want. And there's tons of men out there that'll be like, perfect. That's exactly the relationship That's how I, I want. want. Now, my wife, is it's very hard to get her not to work, though. I'll be honest. Like, she's a fucking work. Like, she's like, well, I want to go back to her. Like, she likes making yeah. her money. But she also doesn't... Uh, she likes also being a stay-at-home mom. She likes being yeah. able to hang out with the kids. And she actually likes working on the things that she wants to work on now. Now she's like... Oh, I'm not stuck at work doing this. I, have, I can actually do all the things that I want to do and stuff. And that's what I'm like. That's what I go for. Like, I'm, I'm immediately like, no, like, I want to stay at home mom. I want someone to take care of the kids. I'll, I feel good knowing, like, I can take care of stuff. If you're going to work, like, that's fine. But our money's going to be one. Yeah. That's how I feel. You're so not going to have one your of own. The, I'm like, not going to have my own either. Okay. But here's something else is this is, uh, there's a couple that's, I won't say their names just in case, but, and they're open about it, but like they both run their own businesses and have yeah. their own, they've like been doing their own thing and they have combi- what they've done is they've always kept their money separate, but then they have an account that anything like housing, the kids, like whatever all goes into a joint account. Yeah. So they put enough money in for that and everything else they make of theirs as their own. I mean, I think, and whatever. the others don't. So that's the thing is like, there's no, I feel like today, no right or wrong no, way. No, I agree. Like there's people that do things the traditional way yeah. and there's people that like that and there's other people that are doing things very non-traditional, mm-hmm. but it works. Yeah. And so you have to figure out like, is this person, is this someone that I'm willing to go into battle with and that I want to fight them on things 24 seven? Or is this someone that like, we actually respect each other yeah. and we can have these conversations. I just, I agree with you. My only thing is that it always does come down to like, no matter what, the roles are going to be a role. Like, if you see, like, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, it's always going to be that way. Like, where the higher, you're going to see the, a man is, a man knows, like, who's higher and who's not, right? A woman, once you get higher with, you know, once you make more money, once you make enough money, you see yourself as a leader position. So the person you're with has to be pretty eye to eye with you. Now, I'm not saying that <clears> always <throat> happens, but that's most of the time because a woman wants to feel either that their person is higher than them. You, even you just said it, like, well, I want my man to feel, I want to feel like he's above, like, he's, yeah. you know, like he's in charge, like not necessarily in a bad way, but in a way of like, that's my man. Like that's, he's got it all. So, mm-hmm. and so, and so, so I feel like when it does come to like a woman, like, like that in that situation. And again, there's no, you, you probably worked it out, but the way I feel is that it does fall down into like, you want what's higher now because you're, well, you're in the same level now. So it's like, why would I want you? You know, not saying it will happen, but I'm saying is that does happen in your mind. Your mind crossed that. Where a guy's mind, that doesn't cross that. 
your girl could be making a hundred grand and you could make 50 and you don't give a fuck. You're like, that's fine. That's what's up that she's making a hundred grand. And there is those girls that can make that and be like, I don't care that my man makes 50 grand. I can give two shits. Mm-hmm. It's very, very rare, but there is those. But my, my head always does go into that whole, like, I, I would prefer to be like my wife or my kids, but like, oh, I, I want this or I need this. And I'm like, I can, I'm going to figure out how to get it, handle it. And get it yeah, done. I like to be the one to know that I'm the one that's yeah. like paying. I'm the one that's Same. doing this. So And see, that's the thing is like, so in one of my last relationships, like I made more and he was not making money really at the time due to some certain things. And so I would literally just give him money to make it look like he was always paying. And I was resented for that constantly for because him? he was so insecure about uh, it. Yeah. And here's the thing. No one else knew. Yeah. But he did. And, and he, hit, he hurt, took hit. it out on me. Yeah. And so it's one of those things where like that also comes down to once again, like people being self-aware mm-hmm. because if he had been actually self-aware and been like, hey, I'm just in a bad spot right now. And this is someone who has my back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But instead he was like, no, this makes me look weak, whatever. And then he just acted out. I See, wouldn't have done uh, that pretending shit. It no. would, yeah. I would have just said like, hey, well, can you kind of take on. Yeah. Like the lion's share of same like the financial side. Like don't cause then you almost feel like a child whenever your mom's like, Oh, look what thank you. Yeah. What yeah. he bought you. I, and it's like I didn't even go to the store. You know, yeah, like it's yeah. like it's like when your mom gives but you. But that's money, the thing is like, like okay, I'll pay. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying is like for I feel like there's in today's society, I feel like there's very few men who would be okay in yeah. that scenario where the woman is the one taking care of things yeah. because it's just I mean, rare it, I'm nowadays. not okay with it, but I'm okay with it when you're not, when you do need the help. If it's 1, temporary, yeah. yeah. If it's temporary, because yeah. me and Christina have been yeah, same. that. I've been to where yeah. she was the one that was mm-hmm. making the money. Mm-hmm. I was unemployed at the time, got a job still. I don't mm-hmm. think I was making as much as she was and then just worked my way up. Yeah. But she it's believed it, in it. like for me, it's motivation mm-hmm. to like do better. But I, I don't agree. know. I mean, so that's, that's just kind of like way. if she were to get a raise, then it's like, okay, then I'm going to do something to make sure that yeah. I'm above that uh-huh. or whatever. Uh-huh. It, like, it, it's just in my mind. It's I feel like, like so many exactly people. Yeah, I, I was like, I feel like so many people nowadays though are just so either content with where they're at and they have like no ambition or drive. Yeah. And I feel like that's where a lot of people end up lacking and then they can get kind of like stuck. Yeah. And then it's that victim mentality. It's everyone's out to get them. They're not successful. It's like, okay, I've well, what are I've you got, doing? Yeah, yeah. I've been there. I was like, yeah, I was like, we've all like, we can all go through shit like that. But I don't know. I was like, I think it's just for me personally, I like more of an older traditional same like dynamic because I've tried basically everything else yeah. and I'm honestly just like you know what I feel like that's the way my grandparents were and they're like my role model as far as it comes to relationships and now I refuse to settle until I get that and what female honestly would like it's crazy for me to think that females get mad when it's like if I were to tell a girl like I want you to be a stay-at-home wife there's some girls that would get offended I'm like you don't want me to take care of you you don't want me to buy your stuff you don't want me to take buy your your I would on vacation. Like, honestly, I would about? love to be a stay at home wife now. And then make some extra money on your side that you can keep on your own. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not going to ask for that. That's your money. Like, what yeah. the fuck? Like, don't make more than I make it. <laughs> but, you know, like, come on. You know, like, I yeah. don't get like Some girls would definitely get mad. And to me, I'm just like, bro, that's the first thing. I'm, I'm not playing no games. Immediately would yeah. be like, who wants me to stay at home mom? Because that's Just like the that. ultimate goal is to like be able to be the one to go to work. But my thing is, is like, OK, if I can make as much as we're both making together yeah. and I can mm-hmm. cover that, we're comfortable right now. Nobody's going to have to cut back on anything. The kids get whatever they need. Like if I can hold up both of our ends, then yeah, like stay at home yeah. and do yeah. whatever you want to focus on. And you get there. It takes a while too, because mm-hmm. I mean, for me, I'm working two jobs right now. But to me, I'm like, that's worth it. And even yeah. then, my wife's like, I still like she still works uh, with my aunt twice a week just to make extra money because she likes it. And I'm like, that's fine. She has her own extra money, and she she likes to make sure that she has money that she can spend on the kids or buy me stuff. Like go, you know, like she likes to have her own money. And I'm fine but that's with the thing her. is like, like that's great. It's just so ridiculous, though, because I feel like this whole thing of like women like being independent and trust me, been there, done that. Like for the longest time, I was like, I'm independent. I can do everything on my own, like whatever. And it did nothing but backfire on me. Yeah. 
But the whole thing is, is because whatever happened in this like shift in society was just like men being like, well, what are you doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and I, now I'm just like, what, what was I like? Why, why did it, I look at it bad of like, I wanted to be the one that was like just supporting someone. Yeah. Like in what world would a man not want to just like have a like wife worship him a hundred percent and be like, Hey, I think you were like, that's it it yeah. like you were the literal shit i love you like i look up to you i admire you like mm-hmm. let me be here and support you in every single thing you do what do you need like do you need me to like cook all your meals like i will check in on you every single day and make sure you're doing okay like mentally yeah. physically let me like care for you and that's the thing that so many people are like missing because they get stuck on this like physical attainable yeah, stuff yeah they yeah and they also they also like I think people see stay at home, being a stay at home wife and mom as like this, like, oh, you make us do everything while y'all get off work and do nothing. It's like, I still come and do shit. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't get off work and I see my wife doing things. I'm like, good job. Yeah, but there's so many men who still like, that's the thing is obviously there's two sides to everything. Yeah, yeah. And so then you have like the women who are staying at home and like busting their ass and doing everything and taking care of all of that stuff. And like, you've seen all the like stories of, if you actually broke down everything like stay at home moms do, like it's a lot. It's it's a shit time. It's a lot. Like my friends that do it, I don't I don't know how they do it half the time. But it's one of those things like then like the dads can't even remember their kids' birthdays. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, is the trade off really worth it? Because he's so like detached from the family. So it's one of those scenarios where you really, I think it, but that's the thing is like, I don't understand why these people aren't having conversations. Well, that's why, that's why I said like, that's where it comes in where you can't be selfish because yeah. when you detach, cause that's how I was, I was detaching myself from everybody cause I was so focused on everything, all my, everything, all my career, my film, every single thing. And I was missing moments. And once I put my family first, you know, God, my family first, everything else started to come like, okay, now you got time for this. Oh, now you got time for that. Now you can do this. Like where it didn't feel like I was putting them up there where like, they were more understanding of it. Like, oh, dad has to do this now. We're like, mm-hmm. you know, dad is coming. Like I'm not coming home and just working consistently. I'm coming home. Yeah. I got to do some work, but then immediately, you know, like let's hang out. Let's watch a movie. Let's do this. Let's do that. Because I know that I'm like, I don't want to be that dad where I'm, I'm not there, you yeah. know, where it sucks. I'm just like, Oh man, like I didn't really get to do. I couldn't even lot. imagine doing yeah. that. No. Well, there's one thing, and I don't know if this is something y'all do or not, but there was one thing I saw And it was talking about how a lot of women, I guess, or like friends of like women were having like going to funerals and they're like, there's no pictures of moms with their kids because they're the ones always taking Taking the the pictures. And so I would just encourage anyone that's in a relationship to start (laughs) that (laughs) that would literally, well, no, that like it would be the serve your man and take his pictures, (laughs) but like literally start taking like when you see your wife with the kids like start taking candy yeah, but then she yells at me saying this is an ugly ass picture well Why but then tell this? then I'm pose like, them like yeah shit. and then <laughs> be like delete it and like pose it you know it. i'm always like look baby and she's like delete that shit i'm like what i'm, like, I'm taking some random but pictures. it's like those little things is but like so many up. people said yeah, like yeah. they didn't even have pictures of like their moms yeah. holding them as babies yeah no I because they were yeah. the ones always behind the camera and i was like you know i was like that is something that made me really sad you know what else is a good thing i saw somebody do on tiktok that there it was a pretty cool, cool idea is every video that she was making she was like hey kids it's your mom oh i saw that that was, pretty that cool. was really cool I said, you yeah know what? that was a pretty cool idea like that was yeah. what you mean like narrating like yeah like she was like hey kids this is your mom i'm over here doing this. Well, she was she did places. it before she had her kids yes she was doing it before she had kids to show all the cool things she was doing so yeah. then she could like up until whenever she had her kids, she could like then continue doing it. She just started it with, Hey kids, it's yeah. your mom. Like that was it. That was the only change she did. And everything else was like, she did normally. Yeah. But, like, it was just so that her kids can go back and be like, Oh, this was, you know, like this was mom. Like this was, it was a cool, yeah. cool little thing. Um, well, we got to wrap it up though, because yeah. I know we're almost running on like two hours now. <laughs> and my producers in the back having to edit this uh, two hour episode after school. So, uh, <laughs> We got to get it rolling. Uh, Robin, it was great to have you as always. I was like, of, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, you're one of our Thank greatest y'all. guests and friends here. Thanks. I think you're the most. Uh, I think this is three. Three. Right. I think you are now. Yeah. One, is two, three. This is three. Yeah. Three, right? Yeah. Give me, give me. Yeah. Three. So I think you are officially the most yes. guest we've had on here now. 
Well, um, y'all yeah. are going to have to come on uh, Corks and Cowtown once we start up again. Yeah, so. let us know. You know we're ready. Whenever. I was like, there's going to be a new set and everything. Oh, no way. Ooh, mm-hmm. excited to so, see So, yeah, I was like, there's some changes coming, so it'll be in the new year. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah well, we're excited. Well, you let us know. You know we're there. Done. Uh, let everybody know where they can find you at, Robin, where they can search um, you up at. You can find me at anything Corks in Cowtown, corksincowtown.com. On Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, I'm your champagne aunt. And then my personal is Ramblin' period realm. And check her out, guys. Yeah. She's great. Uh, no, seriously, like one of our favorites, just in general, not even just kids, like I said, in general person. So check Thanks. out Robin. Uh, you'll love her. Everyone, even Sonny talks about you. I love Robin. She's so cool. He's She's so, so nice. cool. I'm like, yeah, she is. So. <laughs> uh, so yeah, check out Robin, guys. Thank you for coming on, Robin. Uh, and then um, what do we say at the end, Lyrical? Oh, well, also follow us on TFTI everywhere. Yeah. Like, subscribe, give us five stars Look on Spotify, on Apple. Yeah, do that. Um, at the end of the episode, when we have a guest, we say uh, thanks for the invite. And you yeah, say thanks for accepting our invitation. Thanks. All right. So, wait. No, you say <laughs> no. You say thanks for the invite. Yeah, you've been here so many say, times. You're fucking it up, too. Ah, you say thanks for the invite, and we say thanks for the invitation. All right? Whenever you're ready. Thanks for the invite. And, and thanks, thanks for, for accepting, accepting our, our invitation. invitation. It's to good this, to be a gangster. <laughs> to this day, we still get it wrong. That's wild. And we were talking about that on the Funky Panther where they were saying their thing. And I was like, bro, to this day, we get our shit wrong. There's no... Oh, we didn't talk about your thing on Sunday. Which is... Oh, Christina's going.